Hello, hello. Hi, Virals. Hi, Tamsy. Hi, L. You're gonna listen to Witchwood song while you wait for a stream? Hell yeah. Also, lol, the smug emote, like, kind of reminds me of that emote that Darkness uses, where it's, like, arriving, like, rushing at the screen. Also, yeah, sorry, I said I was gonna play... I was gonna stream... what day? Tuesday or Wednesday, but then uh, there was, like, some life news that I found out on Tuesday, so I wasn't really in the mood to stream, and then yesterday my dad stayed home from work, he was playing hooky, and I just feel like so weird streaming around when like he can like directly hear me streaming so he's just too funny like he literally I guess I don't know fucked up his wrist or something or he says every year around March his wrist gets fucked like his left wrist and so he said he was gonna stay home and my mom was like you can only stay home if you promise that you go see like a doctor or like get an anti-inflammatory medication or whatever right so he's like okay and then while I was working yesterday, I was just like getting up for lunch or whatever. And I went upstairs to go ask him if he had like gone yet or whatever. And I noticed he's playing Assassin's Creed on his PS5. And I'm like, are you going to the doctor still? Are you going to get those meds? And he's like, eh, no. And then my mom had messaged me later on Facebook. And she's like, did your dad go to like, did he go get the meds? And I'm like, I just replied with, what do you think? <laughs> I was like, what do you think he did? And I was like, as of right now, he has not gone. I didn't tell her that he said he wasn't going to go, though. I was like, that's a can of worms that, like, he can do. But then when my, um, I ended up taking, like, a seven-hour nap yesterday. I know that's not a nap. It's still sleep, but whatever. I went to bed at, like, 1.30, and I woke up at, like, 8.30. And my dad was already in bed, and so I talked to my mom, and she's like, I'm not even going to bring it up whatever she's like that's the last time i help him out so because he literally couldn't even like take his sweater off and stuff his wrist was hurting so bad so i'm like you played yourself lmo gaming is all the meds you need i know right i mean i guess he's using a controller so you don't really have to like move your wrist that much you can just kind of like place it on your leg or whatever so but i was like what the heck <laughs> what the heck dad um I'll probably start this game off pretty soon here because I'm low-key want to beat it in this stream. If I don't think about it, it doesn't exist. I mean, to be fair, he says it happens every year and like, I guess he's used to it. So, but I mean, I don't know, like he drives for a living. I guess you can drive a truck with one hand, but I don't know. I don't know. But he also never calls in sick either. So like, give the guy a break, mom. Like, this is like his first sick day and like, three years or something like that like my dad never takes six days like whenever I took sick days at work my my mom hands and knees she's like what can I do for you oh my goodness like you have a cough like you're on death's door like let me take care of you and then and then my dad is like what the fuck why are you calling in sick he's like you don't need to call in sick like you're not even sick so i mean you can drive a truck with no hands i mean he also like he does deliveries so i don't know if he actually has to like unload his truck or whatever like with the like the what are they called not flats pallets like the pallets of stuff so i can see why that you wouldn't be able to use your wrist for that but I don't know, maybe make someone else do it, but whatever. <laughs> Hi, Khan! Hello, hello! Oh, wait, I think the other emote that I got was approved. Yeah, this one. The little head rub one. Doesn't look too great that small, but whatever. We had an animated emote slot to use up. Why not? I had it there, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't really done much the last two days. I... Yeah, I don't know. I've been like, if I'm not streaming, I haven't really been in a gaming mood besides like just going on FF and like doing my dailies or whatever. But uh, I don't know. Disney Dreamlight Valley just came out with like a new update yesterday. This like gotcha game I play just came out with like a new main story chapter and event today. So I was playing that during while I was at work. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to play after I finish Witchwood. I might just pick, I might pick up Control. Because I did say I would play that next, and I ended up not playing that next. You've been fighting for liberty? Oh, yeah, I do have Helldivers too as well I could play, but I suck at it. I'm not the greatest. <laughs> Control, yeah, I wanted to play it next because I want to play Alan Wake after that. VR Kung Fu, oh my god, what the heck? 
I ended up making that brisket. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I want some. I have leftovers for dinner. I literally didn't even eat yesterday. I had like a cheese string, a mug of tea, and that might have been it. Until the end of the, until I woke up after my seven hour nap. And then I had like half a cold chicken breast. It was cooked, don't worry. Um, and then like four steroidal grapes that were like massive. Like they were so big. I don't know why they were so big. <laughs> They're like the biggest grapes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Legit wear myself out. Yeah, dude, it's good. It's fun. Like, like I used to play Beat Saber a lot just to kind of like, like I'd, because working from home, I'd go on my lunch break with my two friends when modded. Because multiplayer and Beat Saber is not good. Like regular multiplayer is not good. We had like mods for multiplayer, which was so much better. And we used to just go on our lunch break and then play Beat Saber for like the whole lunch break. Lose a bit of weight, burn some calories. I'm having seafood. I mean, technically I am too. My leftovers have shrimp, so. Yeah, VR used to be my stay in shape. Dude, I'm trying to like... I mean, oh my God, seriously. Every day I say I'm closer to getting YouTube premium and like I'm literally almost there. Maybe like two more streams <laughs> listening to a freaking ad in my little background music. Um, yeah, VR used to be my stay in shape. That's what I, I mean, I still kind of do that when I'm in VR because I like to dance a lot in VR, like when I go on weekends to drink, but I'm also drinking. So it's like counteracting the calories I'm losing by drinking more. <laughs> I want to go on walks, but I've been trying to tell my mom, like, hey mom, when you get home from work, come on a walk with me. Like, I don't care if you're going to get home at 9 p.m. Like, let's just go for a 20 minute walk. <laughs> but uh, it just fucking snowed here yesterday. So I was like, what the fuck? I thought, are we in spring yet? Can't even boot up hell divers. I keep getting disc graders. No, what the fuck? That's so stupid. You haven't even played it yet. That's sad. Good old days. I know. Fucking, have they not fixed modded Beat Saber yet? I don't know. I haven't played Beat Saber in a hot minute, so. I don't remember. It's currently reinstalling. Oh god. Oh no. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh my goodness, guys. I've been trying to like, I've been trying to make a fucking Minecraft server because like my partner, partner and I just want to like, like, I've never just played Minecraft, like slowly learned the game. Like I've always joined servers where people like already know what to do. So I like never knew what I was supposed to be doing or what the progression was like. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go look up a video how to set up my own free Minecraft server because I don't want to pay for one. And holy fuck, I got it to like work. But I think because I'm, I have two routers and only one of them is port forwarding right now and the other one's not, I think that's like fucking it up. Um, that my partner like can't join because it says the server's online and everything and like green it's a go but like oh my goodness like ugh, I got a better so my parents have a router like you know for their shitty internet and I got a another one like what is it like a modem router like their one is like a modem router I don't know it comes with Shaw but I got like a gaming router so it's like hooked up through that and I connect to the gaming router um internet like I get much better connection on that my parents do not want to switch over to it like they're like no we'll keep using the other one so I'm like okay but now it's like I can't turn it off because they want to use it but like I can't log into it because Shaw is fucking stupid and they want you to log into their app like I can log into my router just fine on my browser and like change all the port forwarding options and stuff but like Shaw is like download our app like even if you log in on your browser it's like if you go to the port forwarding option it's like go to our app you can do it all online or whatever i go to the app and then it's like you have to create an account but the account's already under my parents and i'm like i don't fucking know if my parents remember what that is oh and i hate bothering them for like stuff like this because they don't get it <laughs> so seriously i was trying to explain to my dad port forwarding and stuff and he was just sitting there like this is the man that asked me when he was trying to log in to some website for his like football picks, how to make a gap between the words. And I'm like, dad, that's a space bar. He fucking says that never happened, but I will literally never forget. So I'm not senile yet. It rained all day yesterday. It technically rained all day after it snowed. <laughs> so, all, so all the snow is gone now. If it's the M MCVR1 easy fix that was causing one of my buddies crash. Oh shit, what do you do to fix it? I didn't have any issues, but I also haven't logged in to the game in like five days. Ooh, 18C is like perfect weather. Also, I have tea. I'm drinking it. 
I was so fucking cold, so I'm like, I'll make tea, and now I'm so fucking hot once I start talking and using my brain. I was just also so exhausted. Like, I would have streamed yesterday if I, yeah, wasn't also so exhausted from work. <laughs> like, I literally worked nonstop all day yesterday. Like, to the moment I woke up at 5 a.m., to the moment I got off work at 1.30. And, like, usually I'll, like, slack off between the day, right? Like, you're not usually working every single minute of your entire day. No, that was my day. I literally worked every single minute of my entire day. It was so rough. My mom was like, wow, you're, they're paying you what you're supposed to do. And I'm like, I don't care, mom. I wanted to nap in my beanbag. Okay, don't judge me. Tea is good. I got my Earl Grey vanilla. She worked at work, guys. I know. Who am I? There's a file missing on installation for some reason. It doesn't install. Can't find a Windows file. You can just grab. Oh, well, that's easy. Easy clap. But okay, I'm going to hop on over to the game because let's get it. Let's get it, boys. Let me move everything. Let me change every. I don't like how the game automatically logs me in, though. Like, I didn't. I did not ask for this. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, what are we even doing? What are we even doing? How do I play this game again? I feel like it's been forever. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. What are we doing? This one? Okay, hogs on the market. Okay, I kind of want to do the mountain last because, I mean, it's, you know, it's the mountain. We haven't unlocked that one yet. Let's go back to the places we've already been to. But I hope everyone's week is going well. I might stream some tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I don't know if I'd start control tomorrow if I if I stream tomorrow. I think I would. Um, I think I might stream some DVD or something. Cause L, what did you post earlier? I think DVD's having some sort of like rift fragment um, increase, <laughs> and I haven't really been playing, so it would be very nice to. Uh, amass a bunch of those to get through some of the rift <laughs> so we'll see though okay where are these hogs this is some mimic yeah it is okay who are you clinging to a raggedy shawl the old panhandler holds a tin cup with trembling hands alms for the poor sure here you go i have a lot of money you bow your head respect respectfully to the aged fellow dropping in a coin into his cup oh it's a guy from under his ratty hood the man gleams a silver touched grin at you Thank you, kind miss. Sorry, he had a voice change. <laughs> a penny for your thoughts, old timer. I'm afraid my thoughts are a little muddy as of late. Can't seem to recall what day it is or when the last time I ate was. Last I remember, I was working at the old hog farm with the other unfortunates. Not quite sure how I ended up back here on the streets. I've had more than a few memories abandon me as well. Say, I must have left a few things of mine back at the farm, misplaced my boot, and, well, I can't remember what else. I don't suppose you do me the kindness of taking a look around the place for me? I'm not as spry as I used to be. Boy, you need your nails clipped. At the fo hog farm, you say? I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Maybe they have a lost and found. Bless your heart. I do remember that you'll need permission to get through the gates. Those hog sisters run a tight ship. You'll have to go talk to the big hog who runs the butcher shop here in the market. She'll set you up with a work slip. Oh, okay, so I'm being enlisted. <laughs> My week has not been bad. Lots of less. Yes, I've seen you. I need to like act like, are you streaming tomorrow? Because my day, okay, I say now, my, I don't want to jinx it, but my day at work tomorrow is um, not busy. So uh, I want to be able to chat. Also, what the fuck? What was here? What am I missing? Oh, here it is. Why did you go all the way down there? That was weird. Darkness, hello! We were just talking about, well, I wasn't talking about you, but I was saying that my little smug emote kind of reminds me. It gives me those, like, ooh, arrive vibes. Also, for those of you who weren't here either earlier, we do have another animated emote approved. It's the little, um, head rub. Quite possibly. Okay, well, tell me. <laughs> Message me on Discord if you do. <laughs> What is this? The chopping block? That seems kind of like- Why is a pig running a butcher shop? That seems like- Is this cannibalism? Like, what? What is this? Oh, lordy loo. Okay. We're a hog worker. Oh god, what voice do I- Is this a girl or a guy? 
chopping through a hog of meat with a gigantic, gigantic cleaver that the surly looking swine merely grunts at you when you approach. Excuse me, I heard you were the one to talk about getting a work slip. That's that what you heard? Well, you heard wrong. We got good enough, good for nothing workers. Now buzz off. You glance at the halo of flies buzzing around the pig's scalp. Listen, there must be some way to get a slip. Well, I'm running low on ingredients to make the summer sausage, and none of these nincompoops can hold two thoughts in their head. Tell you what, you get me the things I need, and I'll give you your precious work slip. Okay, a roast beast egg and skipper scale. Okay, we need two of these. Okay, we need four of these. Okay, we have nothing. I'm gonna go loot this chest, though. Thank you. Yeet! Yes, a little head rub. Let me out. Actually, yeah. Con, I got a drop from your stream. <laughs> I was uh, I was coming back in because I just had it on my monitor while I like because the way my work setup is like I have my first personal monitor and then my second personal monitor and then directly to my right I have my two monitors and my laptop for work. So. So I have you on like the one that's right next to my work monitor so I can like still watch. <laughs> Helldivers instead. Oh, we'll get it working and then stream it. Now I have to play. Dude, yeah, dude, I got drops. I guess I was looking for drops on something else. I think it was Palia related or something. And um the person raided someone who wasn't even playing Palia after, which I was kind of upset about because I went to go AFK and I was like, yeah, I'll have my Palia drops when I come back. No, I did not have the Palia drops when I came back. But they raided someone playing this game called like Nightingale or something. And so now I have a bunch of drops for that and I have no idea what that is. <laughs> How am I? I'm good. I'm just chilling. I would say I'm tired, but you know, that seven hour sleep nap I had yesterday kind of, I don't know, a little perk in my step. What, what, how would you say that? A little skip in my step. Two, three, four. One, two. I forgot what he needed. Two chicken eggs? Man, how are you, Darkness? What is up, -y? Oh, you know what I have been in the mood? I haven't been in the mood to play, like, a lot of video games, but I have been in the mood to draw. Like, I'm going- after this stream, I'm gonna, like, update my Trello with, like, all the stuff that I need to draw. All the commissions that, um, people have. I'm trying to get a VGen code, um, but I feel too embarrassed to ask friends who are already on VGen. <laughs> Like I have a few friends who have who are on VGen, but I don't know. It's so bad to like just be like, can you spare me your VGen code? Because I think they get two. Like once you become a creator, you have two to give out. So, or you can like, um, what's the way to do it? You can either get a code from someone who's already on the website, which they're technically like vouching for you, or I think every Monday VGen has like some sort of hashtag you can use on twitter for your post um that you want to like you basically like post your art and if it gets 100 likes then you have a chance of or it's guaranteed that you get a code or something like that um what the fuck is this doing here? i did make that right wait what did i make Oh my god, am I crazy? Oh, ingredients. Here we go. Okay, yeah. I have one of these. I have enough eggs. And... Where are these little guys? Get in my trap. Art stream! Yeah, I used to have, like, uh... Well, not a bunch, but... Damn it, I made too many. Should I just grab another one just in case we need more later? I think I will. I like doing art streams. Mind you, half the things I was working on is like, or actually maybe I'll, gra I'll grab you. Half the things I'm working on are like secrets. So, well they're not secrets, but like people will have commissioned me and they don't want it to be seen or like stream, like it's a surprise for someone, so. 
I'm okay. I still have a cold. No! Drink water, rest up, or have soup. Fuck, I want to make some soup now. I fucking love soup. Soup's the best, guys. Don't change my mind. I want to make some more dill pickle soup. It's not as bad as it sounds, though. Like, it's literally chicken noodle soup, kind of. Not really. No, it's like a potato, carrots, chicken. No, if you want to put chicken in it. I put chicken in it um, with, like, cut up dill pickles in it, so. You're gonna make some zuppa? Oh my goodness. I want to make zuppa now. My parents deserve zuppa. You plop the sweet-smelling hawk down onto a relatively clean section of countertop. The pig grunts in acknowledgement. There you go. If you push you push the basket of eggs towards the hog, she holds Oh, it's a girl, never mind. Oh my goodness, I can't tell guys. She holds up one uh one up to a candle flame and oinks in apparent satisfaction. And your skipper scales. Your fishy catch still flops about, uh gasping for air, but the hog puts a stop to that with her hefty cleaver. I should just give her like the like the weirdest voice ever. Head up the market and go northeast and give this to my sis at the gate. The smell of hot dung ought to guide you to the spot. I can hardly contain myself. Well, go contain yourself at the hog farm, for I lose my temper. She slaps a work slip down on the table. <laughs> I just wanted to give her that voice for fun. <laughs> tea. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea. Tea break, guys. I haven't had Zuppa in forever, it feels like. I mean, technically, the dill pickle soup that I make is like a form of zuppa, but it's not zuppa, if that makes sense. Like, the name of it is like, like, zuppa toscana, it has like some name kind of like that. It's like some Greek-ish name. I don't know my languages. <laughs> Whoa there, no one gets into our hog farm without a work slip. Guys, this is a girl too, I can't tell. Oh, they're sisters. And if you want to work for us, you got to fit the demographic. And what dem demographic is that? The kind that don't ask so many stupid questions. Now you got a work slip or not? Here you go. You hand over the slip of paper and the hog squints at it with her piggy little eyes. Hm, if you don't look like you can lift a wheelbarrow, let alone last a good day's work, you're nothing but skin and bones. I've got the work slip, don't I? Let's let me in. Fine, fine. It's no bacon off my back if you find yourself face down in the mud after your heart gives out. Oh my god, it's like slave drivers. It does make sense if you know the ingredients, right? They technically like have the same ones except like dill pickles instead of sausage. Ew, what's wrong with this one? A gassy pig. Oh my god, can we give him something? <gasps> oh, we can. Hey, here you go. I'm sure we'll need that for something, right? Oh shit. Not the pickiest eater, the sick swine eagerly gobbles up the antiacid you offer it. You hear a bubbling sound coming from the pig's stomach and decides it's best to avert your eyes from the horrors of the natural process. When you look back, the pig has fallen asleep in the mud, looking much happier with its state of being. You turn your attention to the aftermath and gawk at the obvious cause of the beast's indigestion. A large bone sticks out of the filth. Okay, well I guess we needed that. Oh my god, look at this guy! Stop slacking. Purification water. I'm supposed to eat soup, but I've been eating other things. What other things? Better not be junk food darkness. Uh, uh, if you guys have seen Galaxy in the chat, she does not like soup. She doesn't like how it like makes her feel warm inside, which is low-key the best part. Unless you're already like, unless it's really hot out already. <laughs> Unless it's ramen, then oh, I want ramen. Ah! Oh, L. Wait, I need to send you something, L, really quick. One moment. Derailing. Derailing. Um... Since you're visiting me, since you're visiting me, I sent you a place that I want to take you to for your birthday. So since we're going to be like downtown, like 
however early we want to get there on the day of the uh, orchestra. Um, this place opens at 10 that I just sent you. And my sister, like, you know, she's celiac, so... But she says this place is, like, hella fucking good. So... <laughs> well, I was gonna pick one up for you when, when I picked you up from the airport. But, like, it says their pickup times is, like, between, like, noon and 6 or noon and 4 or something. And, like, you touch down at, like, what, 9.30 in the morning? But the place opens at 10, so I'm like, okay, we can, we can either go there sun... Oh, they're only open from Wednesday to Sunday, so, like... We could technically go there Sunday when you come in, like right after, but I doubt you'll want to do that because you've already flown for the day. Or yeah, like we can, when we're all dressed up and nice on Wednesday, we can like go there in the morning or something. <laughs> Things to think about, but the fucking sweets look so good though. So to be honest, I only really have soup if I'm sick. Oh my God, I'd eat it every day if I could. <laughs> uh, the slop tro trough? trough right is overflowing with filth like something is clogging the drainage hole a thorough cleaning should dislodge the obstacle wasn't i supposed to like get some dude shit oh my god i need water okay how many one two okay this place would totally have water like a like something that pours water out right like you're not like it has to I don't want to have to go back to the forest just to fill this up. You're joking. Okay. A farm with no watering hole seems legit. Or whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, tell me if you like the options on there. If nothing looks appetizing to you, then we won't go. But my sister was like raving and ranting about it. So okay, I know there's like a trough thing over here. I know, I knew, I know there's water, a water fill up thing over here somewhere. I know it. I know what I've seen it. I forgot where it was though. No. Does it show on my map? I swear there was one like right up here, like by the cow. Is that a mimic? No. Well, that's bothersome. I guess we're gonna go to... Where do we usually get water from again? The forest? Oh wait, the fields has one. Never mind, I'm going to fields. No, it looks so good. Don't they? Uh, Kibbs and I were looking at some of them because I was like, I'm gonna take her here. Well, it was gonna be a surprise, but then I'm like, fuck it. I don't care if it's a surprise, sorry. <laughs> it's not a surprise anymore. Oh, I also didn't want to surprise you, like, if you landed and you were, like, wearing comfy clothes or something and you didn't want to go, so that's why. Are my headphones on here? Oh no, I'm missing stuff. What the hell? I've been eating pizza, some microwave food, and then when I'm feeling up to it, I cook some scrambled eggs. Ooh. Okay, well that sounds yummy. Pizza also sounds yummy. Not sure about the microwave food unless <laughs> I don't know what micro food it is, microwave food it is. We're bad at surprise. I know we are. I know. I just like to show people things like that will make them happy, you know. And I can't contain that. <laughs> obviously i don't spoil other people's surprises i only spoil like my own so it's not like someone told me something and they're like don't tell so and so it's a surprise and then i tell them it's like my my surprises <laughs> me too yeah yeah we were just talking about you because we're talking about soup and I was like yeah gal doesn't like soup <laughs> yeah. oh, you have to like soup. what's up -y? yeah remember you told me that one time you don't like soup because it makes you feel warm and I'm like that's like the best part <laughs> oh yeah I'm a soup hater gal may be a soup hater but like if she sees soup, she'll send it to me. So, you know, she keeps me in her heart. She keeps me in her heart. <laughs> we love soup. I love soup. Seriously, where was this? I swear it was here. 
Move you dumb cow. Or maybe it was just the cow I was thinking of and that I didn't have to go all the way to the field to get water. But still, how does there how is there no watering thingy on this? <laughs> yep, I know you're a soup lover. Hell yeah. She got me, she got me. Now I'm thinking about the soup store. What soup store video? What? Oh whoops. Um here you go. Did it work? You flush out the disgusting container, eventually getting to the root of the drainage problem. Something small and metallic pops out of the muck. Oh, gross. Hmm, that's odd. I doubt any of the pigs around here have th that much gentle work done. What else am I supposed to get? One more thing? It's probably the boot that these people have, isn't it? This gaggle of workers appears to be squabbling over something. Hand it over! I saw it first. This guy's nose is, like, really green. Fat chance you've already got those leg wraps while I'm still going barefoot. Give it here! You see the object of their contention, a dirty old boot. Ah, that must be my friend's forgotten piece of footwear. The workers ignore you and continue fighting over their pathetic prize. Oh fuck. Okay, three elf shoes and a growth potion. I forgot what attacks the elves. Um... I think it's the pluck pocket, but I could be wrong. I have to go check. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, there's so much happening in the chat right now. I prefer straw stews to be honest, but I also love ramen, so dude, stews, dude, I love everything. I love food, okay? <laughs> food tastes good. <laughs> Pixel, hello, hello! And happy early birthday! I don't actually know what specific day your birthday is on. Is it on the Saturday, or is it before the Saturday, or is it after the Saturday, or is it the Saturday because usually people have Saturdays off? <laughs> I have a whole like playlist on YouTube of like VR mixes. They range from like techno to like gothic stuff to like dance stuff. Like so, after I'm done streaming, I'm gonna throw some in there. I don't know what vibes we're looking for, but I I'm gonna bring them. I'm grinding a DDV, trying to finish the Star Path ASAP. Oh shit! Wait, there's a Star Path that came with it. I haven't even opened it up yet. Oh my goodness! I had another game that I play. I have an event come out today too, so I'm like ah. There's too many things for me to play. I'm doing good. What about you? Yeah, DM me it, Con. DM me it. Yeah, how are you doing? Seriously, I need to fucking ride this roller coaster now with how much you're, you've been raving about it. Like, I feel like I'm missing out on my entire life for not being able to go on this roller coaster. I'm supposed to make shiny lure. Okay, we need. More of those and more fireflies. Okay. Nope. The best coaster. Honestly, I don't even know if I like like roller coasters anymore. <laughs> like I know I like roller coasters, but ever since I got in that car crash, like I am very much aware of my mortality now and doing scary things <laughs> and like i don't know maybe it's because the last time i rode a roller coaster it was like the peony or i don't know it's like this it's literally this roller coaster and it's called the wooden roller coaster because it's like made of like all fucking wood and it's like the most ricketyest thing like the straps that keep you in aren't even straps it's like a bar that sits like two feet away from your freaking waist like oh my god it's terrifying <laughs> It is fucking terrifying. Okay, what did we need? More sticks? No, I think we have enough. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we needed... Oh my god, thank god we have enough. I hope it was a growth potion we needed. Next stream goal, fund a trip to Epcot to ride the gala, honestly. And that's where all the food is too. I was talking to Kibbs and he's like, yeah, I never went to Epcot because like, didn't really have any rides and stuff. And like, you know, I wasn't a huge foodie when I was a younger, when I was younger. And I'm just like, hell yeah, I went to Epcot once and like, dude, the food was the best part. The food was the best part. <laughs> Do they have like lots of rides? I mean, I haven't been in like 10 years or something. It's been a hot minute, so. Oh wait, I need to go, wait. You there. 
I'm into my little lure. Thank you. I hope we needed a growth potion. I totally get you, yeah. As I got older, heights scare me more, but I'll still go. Yeah, like, flying doesn't bother me at all, like, whatever. Um, but yeah. I, I mean, I, I would never ride rides at the Peony or, like, whatever you call all those, like, places. Um, like, I would never ride, like, those ones that fling you in the air and stuff. Like, roller coasters was, like, the highest I would go. Where the fuck is, like... Where? Oh, here, here's one. Come over here. Yeah, get back here. I need your little shoes. I get motion sick really easy, so coasters are a bad idea. Oh no, then you might not like VR, because VR is... Some people do get motion sick. Um, that might be an issue if you wanted VR. <laughs> but it depends, because like I said, I think we said this last time, people have like issues in like phasmophobia, phasmophobia VR, but they don't in like VR chat, so... Might just be like different games. I had some fierce surrounding accidents before, car splines, etc. But the more I went on rides, the more exposure therapy it was for me. Yeah, that's like that's what I feel like I have to do. The Guardians, like I just feel like you'd love it. You would have a give it, dude. I, I just I love fun. I love fun. I'm sure I would love it. I'm a fun gal. I'm a fun guy. I'm a mushroom. Oh yeah, the food is great. The rides, they don't have too many. I can only think of five that stand out. Okay, well, still. Um, I need another little... Okay, no, I don't want to talk to that guy yet because he's going to like probably activate the next quest. I need him to come over here and not the pickpocket dude. Thank you. I think we're good. I did VR golf one time and it was fine, but I did VR Among Us and it took me out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it I think it all depends on like the controls. Like the way the game movement is, I guess you could say. Like in VR chat, you can actually like change it. You can either do like the teleport way of moving with your controller. So like you um like you kinda like point to a spot that you can see and then it like teleports you to it. Or you can like do the normal way where you just move your like analog stick around and um, walk around, which and there's like different types of turning too, like smooth turning and like snap to turn and stuff. So it's a lot of options in VR chat at least. The workers ignore you. Okay, here we go. Here's your shoes. You put down the minuscule slippers. These won't be big enough for anybody. And now the growth potion. You pop the cork on the growth potion. You sprinkle a couple of carefully measured drops of the growth potion onto the tiny shoes. They make a sound like popcorn and burst into a size much more accommodating to human feet. The bickering workers look over at the source of the noise and their eyes go wide. Hey, look, new shoes! Dropping the old boot in the mud, they rush over to try on the new footwear. Check it out, they got jangly bells on the toes. Thank you. You sort through the collection of objects you've accrued. A silver tooth, a human bone, and a chewed boot. I'm not sure what happened in this horrible place, but I've got a suspicion that old beggar may have lost more than just his memories here. I better go see him. He'll be missing his boot at the very least. Damn, what did they do to this guy here? VR golf is fun, though. There are VR golf ones in VR chat, like worlds. We could do that for Pickles, Pixel's birthday too! Sorry, I almost just called you Pickle because I had like pickles on the mind from the soup. Oh. It did nothing! No! Virals, where'd you go? Where? What's the file we need? Summon him back! Summon him back! He's my friend in real life, I can just ask him. <laughs> Let me ask him. I'm asking. <laughs> I uh, I forgot the voice I gave this guy. Ah, you've returned. Did you find any luck finding my er? What was it I lost again? You place the collected remains in front of the man. Do any of these look familiar to you? Oh, that's my favorite boot. I was wondering where that got off to, but what are these? The man runs his fingers over the bone and silver tooth with creeping realization crossing his face. His skin begins to take on an ephemeral pallor. Oh shit, what the fuck? Hello? 
am, am I dead? It would certainly appear that way. Don't feel too bad. These sorts of things have a way of sneaking up on us. But what I remember now, I was up at the hog farm, but I was too old, too weak to work. The sisters, they said I was useless. They threw me in the feed trough. Trough, trough. And then all those hungry pigs. Oh no, no, how could they do this to me? What the fuck? They murdered him. All my life I was starving. I had to beg for table scraps and then they fed me to the pigs. I'm very sorry things ended this way. We ought to hold a feast to honor your life properly. A feast? I've never had a feast. Where would we get food? And who would come? Everyone I know is slaving away for those horrible sows. You cast a glance at the nearby communal cooking pit. I think I have a solution to both of those problems. Don't you worry. I'll make sure you have a meal to remember. Don't don't do a meal to remember. Oh, I'll see. Well, what is the error? Can you look it up? And like, I think Viral's just said that you just need a certain file and someone else can give that to you. So the game definitely runs on my computer. So if you can find the file name, then I can find the, um, I can find the file on my PC. I feel like pork is gonna be on the menu. Uh, it's, yeah, same. Oh look, it's like a huge thing right over here. This pit has seen its fair share of community cookouts, though it isn't in the best shape. It will be enough for what you have in mind, though. Now when? Now then, what should we put on the menu? You clap your hands together hungrily. I think pork would be most appropriate. First, I'll have to fashion the proper container. A feast not, need not be flesh and blood if the spirit is hungry. Ooh, a poor sign effigy. Um. Okay. Oh my god, we need so many things. I don't have a... Oh, I do. Okay, hell yeah. Okay. We got that. We got this. We need... Ectoplasm goo. Which is this. So we need a bait stick. Ah, we need so many things. Okay, back to the forest, back to the forest. Where's the teleport? I can screenshot it and send it to you. Yeah, do it. I'm just asking. I'm sorry. I'm derailing. Okay. To the forest. We need wood. And tea break. Okay. We need wood. And I feel like I only needed one piece of wood. So. <laughs> okay. We need to make this thingy. And I know we need one of these. Okay, we definitely, okay, we need this. And we're gonna need a bait stick. Let's go back to the graveyard because I don't exactly remember what it takes to kill the spirit and stuff off by hand. Uh, I'm using my bait stick, come here. Spirit salts, okay. Spirit salts. Um, the exorcism sh charm should work against, oh God, this guy. Okay, and then, sorry, was it spirit salts that we needed? Please have enough, please have enough. Oh, thank God, okay. I didn't want to have to go, like, look for stuff for it, so. I'm lazy. Okay, there's this floating head. What's up? Thank you. And then we need four of these, so we just need a lot of twigs and okay. It's okay, you can reply after. Okay, yeah, no worries. 
We're getting it fixed for you today, though. We're getting it fixed for you. Sorry, I better drink some more tea because it's lukewarm. Yay! Because I leave it for so long. Snip, snip. Dude, this is like the best place to get this stuff. Is there any more around? I think we might have enough. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh. What? It only gave me one? Rude. I wish there was a potion to like make me run faster. Use my bird wings and fly. Okay. Let's get some wood. Give me like everything. I I don't need mushrooms. I just need wood. What the fuck? That didn't even drop any wood. Oh my god. I'm just gonna leave that little guy. I don't feel like grabbing him. God, it's hidden. I wouldn't have seen this. What the fuck? Okay. Needed four of these, I think. Oh my god, we definitely do not have enough. Fuck, why is the wood so hard to find? Never mind. Answered my own question. <laughs> Wood's right here. This can't be all we need, like, there totally has to be more than just that. You set the tiny false creature amongst the ashes of the cooking pit. It wriggles and squeals with impotent hunger. Now to fatten up this little piggy, I'll start with the smallest pig sister, but I'll need to collect something special to bind her spirit. Small pig switch. Okay, what is that? And... Am I blind? Wait, what? Okay, never mind. It doesn't look like it's something I craft. To the pig farm! I didn't even see the other pig sisters. <laughs> Is this the small one? Yeah, okay. You can hear the runny, runty swine squealing even before you see her. Holding up her crop high, she busies herself ad admonishing a cluster of poor workers. Out of feed your useless rumps to the meat grinder, you filthy mongrels. Do we pay you to work or to sleep? The re they recoil from their taskmaster's lashes. You don't pay us at all. Say there, you seem to have gotten an awful lot of use from that grouty old switch. What do you say we trade? What? A trade? I've had this whippers ever since I was a wee suckling. No way. No how am I giving up this precious little flog. Lashmaster 2000? What the hell? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, we need a snap line. I fucking hate these things. Okay, wait, we have enough. But we also don't. Because I need two Skeeter snoots. Okay. Damn, we're gonna have to get something for every pig, aren't we? Annoying. Hey, Brayden! Hello, hello! 
How are you? I don't remember where I'm going. I need more Skeeter Snoot things, but I totally forgot. Is it the smoke bomb that gets them? I think? Oh fuck, I don't have enough. How do I get frogs? Okay. We need more clay. So I think there's some clay in this one. Hopefully. On that grind, I might need to do like two extra- Oh my god, what the hell, why? Ew. Dude, I stayed like four minutes late to work today. Just to tell my boss something about, um, just to give her a heads up if she looks at something and is wondering why it's not being done. And I'm just like, oh yeah, like, that's me. Like, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, it was literally like five minutes after work and she's like, you're off work now. Like, go home. Like, get off here. And I'm just like, yo, chill. I'm, my personal PC is literally, I didn't tell her that, but like, it's literally right next to it. Like, I just wanted to be nice and let her know before I went off work. Okay, I just need like another one of those little like I need one more piece of clay. You're telling me there's no clay spot in the swamp besides that one that I found. Come on. What the fuck? Ah, swamp mud. There we go. Get out of my way! Don't attack me! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we're good. Okay, I want a lot of them though, and I know there's a lot at the front, so I'm gonna go over there. Startups, haha, so OT will go a really long way. Hell yeah! Shit! Right, we still have one more day of the week left to work. Oof. Dude, it felt like Thursday on fucking Tuesday, okay? Like, I was done. Oh wait, no, what am I doing? Give me your snoots. Give me your snoots! I should probably make something to heal myself. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize you could, like, hear your heart beating when that happens. Okay, what else do we need? Rat tails and the pumpkin jackbone. Get a bit more. Are you having fun, though? Is it fun? Is it challenging? Is it nice to be in a startup? I've been doing rigging on the side like for our projection camera and I'm really liking it. Maybe once I get to the coast I'm gonna get a personal mile license to go. Ooh! Hell yeah! Do it. God, when are you guys moving here again? Soon? Spring? Come here, you little pumpkin man. And then we need... what were we making? Oh no, that was all we needed. Okay. I don't remember how to get the rats. Oh, there's so much wood over here. Don't touch me! Literally just healed myself. Starting on a startups are extremely bumpy for, for the first few months. It's not like going into a studio where there are uh, tools. But... Oh shit, but is it fun though? Is it rewarding? I guess that's the question. <laughs> Like, is it a challenging fun? Like, even though I was working non-stop, like, literally from when I woke up to the end of my work day yesterday, like, I was actually having a lot of fun. Like, I, I liked being that busy. <laughs> Which is weird, because I like slacking off just as much. Plan is for July 1st. Oh, well, if you need help... Uh, how are you guys bringing stuff down? Because, like, I mean, I could totally drive up and help bring stuff down. If you needed. I mean, my car's not big, but I can hold some stuff. I don't know where the rats are, guys. Oh, oh. Okay, what was that? A snap trap. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. 
Let me get you. Let me get you. Give me two tails. Damn it. I was hopeful. <laughs> okay, I need to go get more twigs. Fuck. My whole life is just getting fucking twigs in this game. Yeah, for sure, my job still doesn't- <laughs> my job doesn't feel like work yet. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess if you guys have, like, a shit ton of stuff, then... Probably better to get- Yeah, cause, like, I was- when I was gonna move down here, I was looking into getting a moving company to do it, but, like, for the amount of stuff I had, it was, like, totally not worth it. <laughs> it was not worth the price at all. Like, heck, I could fit everything that I needed in my car and my dad's truck, so... Mind you, it was fucking stressful, but... Like, I never want to have to look at the back of someone's, like, truck again to make sure nothing flies off at me. Like, at me. <laughs> like, if it did end up flying off, it'd be flying off at me. So... That was scary. <laughs> okay, don't attack me. I don't know if I have to, like, spawn them or if they will come if I just put it down. A snap trap, I mean. Uh... Here you go. I promise it won't hurt you. Okay, I think we got everything. We got stuff for an entire two bed place and then whatever. I oh, so so they, uh, they are coming down? Or you guys are gonna get like a house? I forgot where I was going. <laughs> Well, this makes me want to move out now, but, like, I low-key don't want to move out yet, so... <laughs> Dude, we can go to ramen, like... We can find a good ramen spot, because I don't know any. <laughs> I feel like none will ever compare to up in where you live now, but, uh... Yeah. We got to start <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys. Oh my god. What? A trade? I've had this one. Oh yeah, here you go. It's- is this- is that a Lashmaster 2000 with extra stinging barbs and rawhide non-slip grip? The one and only. I thought you were doing such an excellent job keeping these poor exploited souls under your hoof that you deserved a reward. She snatches the whip out of your hands with glee, tossing her old straw lash in the mud with a second glance. Not even saying thank you, she scampers off to test her- no, out her newly acquired motivational tool on unsuspecting farm workers. Okay, with any luck, she won't have much time to put this to use. Thank you. Oh, he says, ouch. Oh my god, it even changes in her hand. Well, I feel kind of bad. Are those the three sisters? Like, the two work on this farm, the one at the gate, the one that's in there, and then the hog at the market? Is this, like, the only thing I can think of, that there's three of them? Now to fatten up this little piggy, I'll start with the smallest pig sister, but I'll, okay, here we go. You feed the ratty straw whip into the mouth of the porcine effigy, uh, effigy, sorry. <laughs> Despite the thing not having any teeth, you distinctly hear the sound of crunching as it chews up its first meal. The effigy shudders and swells in size, becoming a healthy sized piglet made of straw. One down, two to go. For this feast to go off without a hitch, I'll need to gather something important from that swinish middle sister. A tall pig's club, okay. Sarah! Hello, hello! How are you? What's up? I'm sorry, I totally didn't even realize, like, one of my other streams the other day, you came in right at the end of the raid, and, like, I didn't even- I couldn't- I didn't even see it. I was just, like, fixing my VODs later, and I saw that at the very end, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> she came in right at the end. <laughs> Hey you, you're the one that gave my little sister that souped up whipper, ain't ya? Well, I do twice as much work as that stinking twerp. This old beaten stick has served me well these long years, but if she gets an upgrade, then why shouldn't I? Oh my god, these people are like so greedy. Like just because she got something doesn't mean you need to get something. Okay, five pieces of wood, whatever this thing is. And a dog hair, which means we- Oh, we already have one of these! Yay! Okay, so we just need wood and... Another coal piece. Cinder piece. I hope your week's going well! I need to get some DVD games in with you! I saw Elle posted, uh, there's like a fragment thing going on and I haven't really been playing, so I definitely need... I need rip fragments. 
<laughs> I think I'm only like tier 20. And I think level 3 of the tome came out today too, so. Or like yesterday or something like that. Where's the wood? Why do I chop a tree and it gives me no wood? This doesn't make any sense. Hello, sir. Um, here you go. Wait, is he gonna eat it? Eat it! Thank you. And then we can pick that. And we just need three more wood. Okay, this one was like way fucking easier than the last one. But that might be because I already had like a shit ton of ingredients. Seriously, there must be like- you think the forest would be like the best way to farm wood, but I feel like I barely get any wood when I'm out here. Like, where the fuck is the wood? I still need one more? What the fuck? Got it. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea, because it's probably fucking cold now. Oops. Ah! Wait, I can't hold it! There we go. Okay. I think I made it too sweet. I need it more bitter. Not being able to find wood in a game with the word wood in it is quite- Dude, do you see how long it took me? One of those tree stumps didn't even give me wood. It gave me like two mushrooms and like whatever those little nuts are. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, girl, I got your shit. This old beaten stick has served me well these long years. Okay, yeah, here you go. This how takes a few test swings with her new cudgel, making you duck for safety. Ah, now that's more like it. Solid build, perfect balance. You won't be needing that cracked old stick anymore. I'll just take that off your hands. Huh? Sure. Whatever. It's as good as firewood now. She ignores you and goes looking for pine cones or small animals to take a swing at. Luckily, she's slow and her eyes are bad. Take it. Now it's just that last one we'll have to get rid of. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Oh my god, it did get bigger. You chop up the well-weathered cudgel into a bite-sized pieces and offer them to the small effigy. It wastes no time gobbling up the bits of wood and crunching them to splinters. Satisfied with its second meal of sticks, the stimulated pig rumbles and once again grows in size. This ham is already, almost ready for dinner. It just needs one more helping of soul food. Something special from that brutish butcher will be the last ingredient I need. Big pig's whetstone. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's just a mimic hiding behind there? What the fuck? I don't remember the voice I gave this lady. Oh, I gave her the, like, the fucking... You see the enormous swine hacking apart a haunch of meat with her cleaver. Its dull and chip blade has clearly seen better days. She sneezes heavily before wiping a glob of snot with the back of her hand. You again? What do you want now? <laughs> As your dutiful employee, I've been taking it upon myself to improve your meat business. That whetstone of yours looks like it's not doing a great job of keeping your tools sharp. She raises an eyebrow at the worn slab of grindstone sitting on the countertop. Hmm, I suppose it might be time to replace the old girl. Just think of how much more brutal you could be with a brand new sharpener. Mag Magi Sharp XL, okay. Magi Sharp. Look, there's not even much more things to make for the other, like, things. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, what are all these things? Turkey Gizzard Stone. Okay, we can get these outside here. She's deforested the world, but what is them exactly? Also, hi Ash! Hello, hello! It is slim pickings. Oh my god, I swear I just saw a piece of, like, rubble. Is it over here? Okay. I don't even know what this is. Uh, a rabbit's foot? Okay, so we have to go to the mountain. Goblin snot. 
Oh my god, they need these, don't they? Fuck, I hate getting these. Oh wait, we have enough, okay. We just need some more grain, and I don't exactly know what we need to get a gnome's hat, so... Let's just go to the field and figure it out. I didn't want to go to the mountains yet. Okay, I think the grain's up here. Okay. A puzzle box. Fuck, okay. A changeling root, and I believe those are just hitting them. I don't need to make anything fancy. Okay. I'm just like wondering why I didn't like pick up any of the grain. Oh wait, I need to I need a turkey gizzard too actually, and I don't know what it takes. Where is it? Digestive pa no, I hate getting these. Okay. Fuck, okay, no, we need like lots of these. Damn it. Actually no. It's um I think it's like an area of effect, so I don't need to make a lot of them. Okay. I do need to make digestive tablets, though, which I have newt. Okay. I don't all exactly remember what that needs, so... Okay, wait. Gnome hat needs a puzzle box, needs changeling root, so we need to go back to the forest. Wait, did I not make this thing? Oh. Dude, I'm just gonna pick up this wood whenever I see it now because I don't trust myself not to find wood later if I need it. And where is he? Right here? No, right here. I need one more, but I don't exactly know where all the little changelings live. Might be one up here? I think actually, yeah, I think there's like a few up here. This fucking dog is on the way, so I'm gonna try and maneuver around it. Run, 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 Gather around, little goblins. Wait. How do I- how do I pick up the snot? Okay, we're good. I think. Okay. Okay. Goblin snot, we got. And then we need a puzzle box. Wait, what did the turkeys need again? Digestive pallets, digestive. Okay, so we need the newt thingies, okay. Ooh, wait, can I scare the other one with this? Don't run out, don't run out, don't run out, don't run out, don't run out. Damn it, it ran out. Ah, yeah, there was one over here. I was trying to see if I could make it in time. <laughs> okay, and then... Look, I totally forgot. Do we need a bait stick, I think? I think... No. Uh... Yeah, okay. Bro, come over here. Okay, okay, okay. Why is there so much wood over here? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, we need... Two of these. 
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make one just in case it gives me, for some reason, two turkey gizzards per turkey. Just in case. And then to the feet. And where is this gnome? Hello, gnome. Solve it. Oh my god, I'm like Pinhead from Dead by Daylight. Look, it, there's two turkeys up here, actually, I think. Come here, turkey. Eat it. Okay. What? I need three more shells? Oh my goodness, I have to go back, fuck. But I only needed one. That was rude. That was rude of the game. Okay, um... I don't exactly remember where the shells are found, actually. Oh, there's one. Oh my god, did this guy move yet? Oh, there's a shell right here. Perfect. Hello. Well, he still won't move. What the fuck? Maybe that's like for the end of the game or something. So I think I've been to the, every area so far, so... More tea break. Okay. Oh, there's so many of them. Get it, get it. Thank you. Okay. So we just need three rabbit's foot from the mountain. Okay. I don't even know where the mountain is. Shit. I actually don't know how to get there. Um. Let's see. The stag would be where we want to go. There, okay. Probably want to go get the teleport for that area anyways, in case we're going to be going back there a lot. And it's snowy. Okay, okay. Okay, there's the bunnies. Okay, we just need snap traps. Okay. What do we need? Oh my god. Okay, we just need rope though, so that's good. Should be a bunch of weeds over here. Oh my god. I like don't want to get too close to them. for me. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Perfect. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm sorry, little rabbits. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. Oh, it's right here. Oh my god, I thought it like fucked me over. I don't want to talk to him yet. What is this? Where are you? I need one more little victim. Oh, these are so cute. I like the music here, it's so calming. Oh. Final one of. I think this is the teleport. Yeah, this is totally the teleport. No less crudely constructed than the other snowmen that surrounded it. Something is nevertheless, nevertheless off about this one in particular. Whether it's the too many limbs, the stitched mouth, or the trio of antlers, it's irresistibly beckons your touch. And as soon as your fingertips touch its cold surface, it falls completely to pieces. Hell yeah. Let me just make that. And that. And let's go back to the market. Damn, they just exploded. I know, they just like instantly ran into it. Like usually you have to like wait for the animal to come over and like sniff around it. But like the moment I put it down, it's like, they're dead. Okay, let's get this dude's soul. Here you go. The sow slowly grinds the blade of her cleaver across the new whetstone, sending flecks of rust flying. She plucks a hair from her own chin and tests the keenness of the edge by splitting it in half. Ho ho, not- how did I give her a voice again? What was it? I was like, not bad at all. <laughs> Go and take this old stone and throw this in the trash bin. Oh my god, I totally forgot how I did her voice. It was like, oh my god, take this and throw it in the trash. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. You toss the old brick into the effigy's ravenous maw and it cracks into dust with, within moments. With its final meal of bricks, the porcine simulacrum swells to monstrous proportions. A rattling laugh chills your blood as the old man's spirit looks upon your work. Haha, <laughs> what a proper beggar's feast this is. I thank you for the kind gesture, but I still don't see how this will bring justice to those wretched swine. Just you wait, I have to fire up the barbecue first. Craft a cinder box. Why do I feel like I don't have it? <laughs> so close. I just needed one more little firefly. That's annoying. Let's get it. Damn, I could have just been like collecting more when I, uh, like more of the fireflies when I was trying to get a changeling over here. Get in my in net. Thank you. I know it will collect you too. And you. No one escapes. <laughs> Just use it on it. Striking a spark into the pit, you set the tinder alight. You take a step back, watching the orange flames leap high into the air. The porcine eff effigy blackens as you ten tend to the fire and fuss over the coals. A succulent aroma begins to waft on the wind. The old man licks his translucent lips hungry. I swear, I can almost smell a delicious roast. Ah, if only it were real. Over the sound of crackling logs, you hear a crowd of footsteps come padding down the road towards the cooking pit. Over here, I knew I smelled something good. It's the others, my friends, you come back. Aye, a ghost? No, wait, is, is that old man McGough? 
Say it ain't so, old timer, when you never showed up from the morning head count, we've all feared the worst. It's true. I ended up as pig food. Can you believe that? I worried you would all face the same fate as me. However, did you escape the hog farm? It's the strangest thing. The swine sisters started complaining about the weather being too hot, even though it's pretty chilly if you ask me. All of a sudden, they bolted out into the woods, squealing away, left the gate wide open and everything. Then we smelled something delightful in the breeze and couldn't resist. It's been so long since we had anything other than pig slop. Gosh, that smells so good. Is it barbecue? Where did you get all that food? Yeah, eat up. In place of the brick sticks and straw, the porcine effigy has split into a mountain of delectable sizzling meats. Ham, sausage, bacon, it all looks so delicious. What a wonder, it truly is a feast, thank you. What did I tell you? Enjoy yourself a little while longer and be at peace. The starving crowd happily helps themselves to the feast, cheering, laughing, and praising the gold, old ghost's name. You see something twinkle amongst the coals of the cooking pit. Oh. Warm to the touch, you pick out a piece of greasy gristle from the soot. On closer inspection, it appears to be the three separate chunks. One fat piece, one long piece, and one small piece. The souls of the pigs. Hell yeah. Okay, now which one do we do next? I say we do... How about the hawk in the fields? Let's do that one. Let's go. I'll take the road like a good little citizen I am. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh there, ma'am. Hope you don't have business that way. The mill's in a spot of trouble. The mill, you say? I so I do. I was just about to drop off my wheat to the nice couple that works there, but then I heard a ruckus and I thought it best to wait here. What ruckus? Are they beset by bandits? Worse, a businessman. The hawk is the land baron that owns most of the property around these parts. I saw him banging on the mill's door with a greedy look in his eye. Trust me, it's best to lay low until the storm blows over unless you want to end up penniless. Tsk. We have little use for coin, therefore nothing to lose. Perhaps I ought to see what the fuss is about. Let's get it. Let's get it! Another soul! Um, are we tracking it? I think we are. Yeah, we are. Oh, let's grab some of these. Oh, he's so dapper looking though. Look at him. By decree of the loyal bylaw, you must come out. Any who interview with the eviction of this property will face full legal consequences for obstruction of justice. As a stately tycoon hammers on the mill door, a pair of shaking voices call out from the nearby window. But please, Master Hawk, we, we just need a little more time. You've had an ample opportunity to renegotiate our contract at the civil, Civic Hall. This is no time for excuses. Now open this door at once. Pah, more miserable contracts. Drop the pretenses, Hawk. You're nothing more than a crook in fancy clothes. Excuse me, but this business does not concern you, madame. Take your snide remarks and be off. I'll determine what business earns my concern, thank you very much. I'd like to hear the other side of the story myself. Well, if they insist on remaining locked inside, then I shall depart. But if I do not receive my payment at the bank soon, even a locked door won't stand in my way. The Hawk steps smartly around you and off down the road back to the village, leaving a trail of dust in its wake. Hmm, these poor millers are too shaken up to come out. I'll have to get in around back somehow. What is that? Oh, it's a changeling. Get back here. Let me beat you up. Thanks. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> How did you get in here? Did the hawk send you? We don't have anything left to give, we swear. Relax, I'm no thug. It just seems like you two are caught between a rock and a bureaucrat. Just how did you get into such a pickle? 
what's to tell the hawk is our landlord and we work this mill for him we've always been on time with our payments never missed them once but that greedy tyrant has been steadily hiking up the cost we've barely been able to feed ourselves and pay our dues but we always manage to scrape by then this last month he raised the rent again and what's worse someone broke in during the night and cracked our millstone if we can't grind flour we'll never be able to get the money and now he says if we can't pay he'll evict us awfully suspicious that your millstone was damaged right as the rent increased almost like he wants to get rid of you We've explained the situation to him, but that man only has eyes for gold. Not a kernel of kindness were not, resides in his heart. Well, let me take a look at that grinder of yours. A broken mill isn't much good to anyone, regardless of who owns it. Really? You'd do that for us? If the millstone was repaired, we just might be able to make enough fl flour before the deadline. Let me have a look. Actually, let me look in this chest first. Thank you. <laughs> just steal more of your stuff. <laughs> You inspect the granite millstone and run your fingers along the wide crack that has rendered the device dysfunctional. Hmm, just as I thought, this appears to have been done on purpose. The heavy stone could be coaxed back together, but it will require strong bonding magic. Oh my god. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Then we need more skeeter snoots. Mm, okay. Actually, I'm going to use something that I've never used before. One of these because I don't feel like <laughs> I didn't feel like going um fuck what I need again. Rock shit, okay. I didn't feel like walking all the way back to the teleport. <laughs> Right, yoink, they're, already, they're just complaining about how they're fucking broke and this is broken and I'm like, yeah, you don't need this. Come over here. Oh my god, look at them all. And then we'll make one of these. Actually, what do we need for a restorative doll? Yeah, hopefully this one is not as bad as the last one. I just felt like it was kind of a lot that I had to get like three fucking things. Okay, gather around little guys. Gather around. Gather around. But don't kill me. Gather around. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, what did we need again? Snag. Okay. We need a snag vine. Okay. We need a restorative doll. Which means we're gonna need another one of these and another one of these. And what else? Cobblestone. Okay. Probably get the cobblestone first because the field is where we have to go anyways. So their locks are also broken apparently. Yep. Whoops, my bad. I kind of just destroyed everything that was like showing where the fucking um that was hiding the back door. I just blew it up. I couldn't have sneakily inspected. I had to just go destroy it all. The fuck that one literally didn't give me anything. God, I can't see shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Um, and then yeah, just the one guy. I 
I hate how there's like fucking vents here. I keep I don't notice it, it blends in. Oh shit, posture check. Oh my god, thank you. My butt was falling asleep, so <laughs> my butt I've been sitting since five in the morning, sweetie. Don't mind me yawning, I'm not tired. Literally posture check, and then I immediately go back into, like, shrimp mode. <laughs> Brayden, I had a seven-hour nap yesterday, okay? I'm not tired. <laughs> it was supposed to be, like, two hours max, and then I just kept sleeping. However, I've only gotten like three hours of sleep every night this week for work because I'm working um, Adam's shift, like 5 a.m. till 1.30, but I'm still going to bed at like one or two in the morning, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You place the idol atop the old millstone. The vines wind their way neatly into the crack of the millstone, beginning to seal it anew. And the cobblestone. The cobblestone clunk down on the face of the millstone. An ominous creaking sound fills the mill as the grindstone begins to shift and warp. Then, with a bang like thunder, the crack on the stone snaps closed. The couple marvel at the millstone, running their hands over the smooth surface. It, it's been fixed. It's been fixed. I'm giving it a girl voice because there's two of them. <laughs> and I don't feel like doing another boy voice. There's too many boys in this game. <laughs> the stone should be more durable than ever. I dare say it might even hold up to any future attempts of sabotage. Oh my, what a wonder. If it's all the same to you, we need to get our grain processed right away. The hawk has no patience when it comes to money. He'll already be back at the bank putting through the paperwork. I ought to talk some sense into that penny-pinching buzzard. If I go now, I'm sure I'll intercept him at the office. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> the dead emote. No, I'm a shrimp again. Okay, here we go. Maybe I should use another one of those teleport things. Actually, wait, the market might be like right here. Oh, the village. Oh yeah, here we go. Maybe it wasn't as far. <laughs> no, they're not gone. <laughs> they're not. <sighs> Dude, you know what's so funny? Like, I was actually, like, when I was making, like, I was getting tea in the kitchen right before my stream, I was, like, trying to do a British accent again, just in case I might need to, like, make one for a voice in here. And I was like, okay, no, this isn't happening. <laughs> I can say, like, a phrase in a British accent. I can't just do a British accent. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can collect water with it. I'm gonna do it. Hello, governor. There you go. Spot a tea. <laughs> there you go. Those are, like, the only lines. <laughs> the only lines I can do. Okay, can I steal anything from the bank? Ooh, a treasure map. What is that? You don't have an account here, ma'am. How do you know that? But you don't even know me. You didn't even ask for my name. Whoa, that's far enough. No one gets near on my watch, but I want in. Oi, wanka. Oh, I kind of sounded like Australian a bit. You conniving knave. I know you sabotaged those poor Miller's grindstones. Whoa, I didn't know we'd be going guns a blazing at this guy. I forgot what voice I gave them. Uh, so what if I did? The property value's gone up and they can't afford the rent. It's time to, f to find me someone else who can. Fuh, people like you will never be satisfied. You'll always want more and more. Tell me, Master Hawk, what in the world would state your, state your hunger for gold? Simple. The rumpling would. The fuck is a- What the whatling? <laughs> the rumpling. A precocious fey alchemist. They say he's in possession of an alchemist stone that can turn whatever it touches into gold. If the legends are to be believed, the one to catch the rumpling would be paid his weight in gold. Why not put your mind to catching the rumpling instead of harassing your poor tenants? Oh, believe me, I've tried. But he's a crafty fellow. I've only ever gotten my hands on a single clue, and I've got that locked up tight in my vault. Seems like you're robbing the world of an opportunity just because you can't find this rumpling fellow no one else can. You eye the nearby bank vault suspiciously. The single guard looks simple enough to bypass. You tell me I can't steal anything from in here? What about... <laughs> Yes, I'm quite parched. Yes, I'm quite parched. Oh, whoop. How do I... How do I get past him? Oh, wait. Oh, a glamour. Ooh, okay, okay. Totemic Moondrop. Uh... 
Oh my god, what do I need? Okay, one, two. A smoky thing. Okay, I just have barely enough. Oh my god, I just have barely enough. Okay, okay. A mimic's toe, which we need a skeleton key for, which we need a mummy head for, which we need one of these for, which we have enough for, which we'll go get that. And then... I don't remember what the totemic moon drop things need. I know where they are, I just don't know what we need. Actually, no, I think they're a snap line that takes to kill them. Fuck! Oh, thank god, we had one more Skeeter thing left. Okay. But we need three... Okay. Everything we can find in the swamp, we just need the mimic. We just need the head. I got this, I got this. I'm remembering, I'm remembering. Okay, where's the graveyard? To the market. Probably just have to teleport. Okay, graveyard. Floating head, floating head. Where are the floating heads? Hello. Um. Wait, what do we need a floating head for? Oh, yeah, the key. I think there's a lot at the market, so I might go to the market instead. God, I swear I see them like all the time and then I can't find them. What the heck? I know there's one up here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Thank you. Please tell me I only needed one Mimic's toe though. Okay, thank god. Food is not now I'm playing winning game. Ooh! What food are you making? Pizza? <laughs> Pizza! Yeah, I'll be having just like noodles and shrimp and... I forgot what else, but corn, which is a random thing to eat with noodles, but okay, I need some more of those little vines. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, I was right. I need one more. Thank you. Okay. I don't want to kill the dancing ones. I will kill this one. Thank you. Easy clap. You've just returned from food. What food did you get? What the heck? I want to eat. It's too early to eat for me. Uh, fuck, where were we going? The village? Yeah. Pizza! But what kind of pizza, though, is the question. Holly got going a nice pasta chicken in the slow cook. Ugh. Seriously, I need to, like, make a list of everything that... I need to buy it when I move out. <laughs> I have an air fryer. I got that for Christmas. And a fucking beefy one, like a ninja one. Like it looks fucking legit. Oh my god, is she is she snapping me right now the pasta? Because I'm getting like a bunch of snapshots on my phone right now. Wait, do I have to use it? Oh, he's just gonna. With while the guard's busy picking his fingernails, you quaff the fruity tasting elixir. Its masking effects tickle the lips of your toes with a tingling sensation. Well, you don't feel any different on the inside. You know your outward appearance has changed when the guard glances up at you. Oh, hey, Le Leonard, is it time for my shift change already? Uh, yes, I'm here to relieve you. You better go and get some shut eye while you still can. Don't gotta tell me twice. I feel like I've been on my feet all day long. Don't worry, I'll keep this vault nice and secure. You can count on me. Yeah, sure. Just keep your back straight. The hawk's in a foul mood today for some reason. The guard stretches his shoulders and walks away, leaving you all alone with the bank vault. Get it! 
Wait, I can't loot anything in here! Lame. You find the hawk's treasure map framed with pride. It's a little more than a tattered corner of a larger hole. No wonder the hawk didn't get very far. This is barely a scrap! Squinting at the half-torn line work, you can make out the ca cartographer's description of the giant dragon bones with a red X marking the spot. Hmm, that carcass looks awfully familiar. I wonder if it's the same one that's rotting out in the swamp. I guess the hawk never had much reason to go searching there. Not many real estate investment opportunities. <laughs> I kind of wish it changed my outward appearance. Find the dragon bones in the swamp. My mom made a seafood boil- <laughs> I want some. I want food. See, this is like the one thing like living at home kind of sucks is that like my parents just buy like whatever food. But like I'm I'm a recipe girly. Like I want a recipe and I want to like make something and I'd feel bad just being like, hey, pick this up, pick this up, pick this up, pick this up. <laughs> and I would want them to like be home to eat it while it's like fresh and hot. But like they always get home so late that they're like, oh, well, we're almost going to bed. So, you know, we we're not going to eat this while it's fresh. So I'm like, fuck. Like on Tuesday, I think they got home at like fucking. They got home at like 5 30 or something, which is hella early for both of them. And I'm like, oh my god, I was like, you guys are home early. And my mom's like, what do you mean? We're home on time. <laughs> so I usually go home at like between 7 and 7 and 9. God, I don't want to deal with this nuke thing again. This guy. Acidic unguent. Fuck. Okay. I need more newt eyes, which means I need more of these. And then I need one of these, so I need a jar of water. Oh, Hurt me, but we have no clay! Yeah. I already forgot what we needed. <laughs> eh. We need one of these. Uh, oh, here we go. I need to chop this down. Give you that. You come back. Oh my god, I was like, dude, if that fucking dragonfly, like, took that, I would have been fucking livid. <laughs> We need a jar of water and that is it. Okay, but I don't think there's anything we can fill up here. Bro, if I don't go to the store with the list, I easily spend 200% more. <laughs> exactly! Well, see, like, when I was in the apartment, I was, like, meal prepping, right? So I'd literally just buy the same thing, like, on my list every single week. Like, I'd check, like, some things could carry over into the next week because, like, I didn't use enough and it, like, wasn't going bad yet and stuff like that. But, uh... Wait, what do I need now? Oh, algae, okay. The docks are by nearby, right? I think? That's also why I want to live on my own. I just want to live on my own and get my own food. Like, I'm trying to, like, not snack. And, like, literally every time I tell my dad, I'm like, hey, I'm trying to, like, not diet, but, like, keep an eye on what I, what I eat. So, like, don't buy a lot of snacks. Goes and buys a shit ton of snacks. Literally the other day, he fucking... <laughs> he fucking bought this, like, shrimp dip. Like, sour cream, whatever. I, th there's a name for it. And I'm just like, what the heck? I literally said that I don't want any, like, snacks. <laughs> I think he just sees something that might taste yummy and he's like, oh my goodness, like... She loved this. Like, let me get it for her. And then I feel bad. God, I was like, where's the algae? That, and I forget that. Yeah, I always go with the list. I have a little memo on my notepad on my phone, and then, yeah. What is it they say? You want to go around, like, the outer, outside of the grocery store? That's where I'll, like, the good stuff is like the healthy stuff is and then all of everything on the inside is like the cookies and stuff that's bad for you 
It's no, yeah, I know it is. Yeah, dude. And then like, like I said, I usually get high at night. And then I get the munchies, dude. Okay, the past three days I have not snacked at night though. Like I'm doing so well, just saying. It's only been three days, but <laughs> you know, we winning. The beast rock like remains dissolve into a disgusting white goo, leaving behind a consp conspicuous hidey hole. You reach your hand into the hole and pull out a single copper coin encrusted with grime. A rusty coin. After scraping away the muck on the coin, you can barely make out a motto etched into the metal surface. To summon the alchemist to thee, at the Fey Ring you must pay the required fee. Fey Ring? I wonder if it's referring to that overgrown mushroom patch in the forest. Is there anything over here? I don't know. Look how cute he is. Hello. Hi. Never mind. Back here. Cause you eeping. <laughs> hey, yesterday I wasn't. It? I try and just bring my water. I've decided, so like I have my energy drink. So, okay. So I'll eat my like lunch or lack thereof. I don't know, sometimes it's just a cheese string and I'll eat dinner for sure, like at around six or seven. And then I'll just have an energy drink, a sugar-free, the like white monster one at 10 PM on my usual work day. Right now I've been taking them at like eight because like, you know, I have to get up earlier for work, but like at 10 p.m. I'll have the energy drink while I get high. So that way I don't fall asleep instantly from the high and I can stay up a bit. And then I'll have a bottle of like, I have water, like a flat of water bottles um, and then iced tea mix. And I think it's only like 160 calories per like two tablespoons of iced tea mix. So um that's just as much as I put in it, and like, I'll drink that at night. I hope that's not like fucking up my diet or something, but <laughs> like too much. <laughs> but I've decided once I run out of iced tea mix, I am not buying any more, so I'm just gonna be sticking to water. Like, I gotta learn to love water, guys. I fucking hate water. Water is just so bland. It's not refreshing, it's only refreshing after a workout, and that's it. And I don't want to use like, you know, like crystal light or anything. So I like want to learn to like water as of its own. <laughs> Ooh, a floral wreath. What is this? How do I not have any more lazy grass? I swear I picked up like three billion of them. Oh my god. Okay, then we need this like rainbow roll thing. Okay. Litter bomb. We need a glitter bomb and dough. Okay, so we definitely need to go collect a shit ton of fucking clay. Actually, how many do we need? I love water. I don't. I mean, okay. Water up where Brayden lives and stuff. Yeah, fucking disgusting. The water that comes out of my parents' fridge is actually, like, good. And their ice doesn't taste like shit because it's the, like their freezer makes ice, so. <laughs> um, but at least that tastes good. So I'm hoping wherever I move to also has yummy tasting water because, yeah. <laughs> Your girl don't like water. <laughs> yeah, fasting rule was only water, coffee, tea with zero sugar and milk. No! That's the only way I eat! The only way I drink my tea. I mean, I don't I don't like coffee. Um, and yeah, my tea, I'll have like a tiny bit of sugar and like a splash of milk because yeah, I don't know. I feel like it makes it taste yummier. Trisha, on the other hand, puts in like fucking half a glass of milk in her tea. I'm just like, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you putting so much in? Oh my god, I almost filled those up with water instead of cow juice. Tap water here is bleh. I honestly love the water cooler water, but I'm lazy at getting those massive jugs. Yeah, that just sounds like a time. I mean, to be fair, I've been going to fucking Costco and getting like a 40 some odd flat of water, which, oh my God, is so fucking heavy. Um, 
and like two flats of energy drinks. I don't know if I could give up my energy drinks. I love my energy drinks too much. Like, I honestly just drink them for the flavor at this point, honestly. Because it's like a hit or miss if it wakes me up or not. Chickens, I need your little eggies. Thank you. Two of these. Wait, no, one of those. Yeah, okay. One of those. And we're good. I tolerate Britta, right? Use stevia. Is it good? Water and soda, pretty much all I drink. Very rarely coffee, even though I really enjoy it, but I get. But I get most of my water from ice cubes. I find it best to consume it frozen. Yeah, I like I like ice in my water. Top water is decent. Yeah, the top water where I live is decent too. But I mean, like, I'm not. If it's gonna come out of the fridge and it's gonna already be super cold, and then I just make it even colder with ice, I'll take that. Dude, you try the zero sugar strawberry? Yeah, I have that, and the peach one is also really good in my opinion. Wait, what's happening? What the fuck is that? Oh, he's so cute! What do I do with him? Wait! Hello? Did it just- did it fucking just eat? Wait, what? Oh, wait, it dropped something. Oh my god. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, did I just waste this fairy circle on it? This is a fucking wreath? What's this? That worthless coin said this would summon the rumpling, not some flowery deer. The flowery deer was cute, though. You take a closer look at the discarded floral branch. Antler? Branchler? <laughs> One of the growing buds looks larger than the rest, and it twitches when you poke it. Oh, hello there. Uh, looks like the sprout needs some fresh fairy water. There's no water at this fairy circle, but surely there are others about. I better go plant this thirsty fellow and see what happens. Oh yeah, I think there's one like over here. Or down there. I got used to stevia, but it's not the greatest taste. But I mean, I'm sure like a little bit of sugar like can't harm me. Cause yeah, like like I said, I only put like a tiny bit in my um in my mug of tea and I usually only have I only drink like one mug of tea a day I don't like slam slam them back am I supposed to go down here this looks wrong oh hey this is like the little like the deer we just summoned Oh wait, what is this? Yeah, what the fuck? Visit the fairy lake in the fields. Oh, wait, what? Okay. I have not even been like all the way over here, I guess. So I didn't even notice it existed. <laughs> Tea break, now that we're talking about it. Oh, sorry, my glasses is in the way. Don't attack me. Just an old granny walking through the woods. Oh yeah, I've definitely never been over here. What the fuck? Oh my god. This looks like just the place. Branch antler. You stick the budding branchler into the fertile soil of the fairy circle. The suspicious flower bed wiggles with glee, drinking up magical pond water. After a few minutes, nothing else happens. Come on, come on, I don't have time to watch flowers grow. Maybe I can speed things along a bit. A little pick-me-up should be all that's needed here. A growth potion. I should have known. And we literally have... Ooh, a lot of stuff, actually. Oh, please tell me we have enough. Is there no clay over here? Is there no clay? No, 
it's only in the swamp and the forest. No, wait, there's somewhere here. That was baited. And now I have enough. And the cow's right over here, so I can just fill up the the little jar. Hell yeah. Wait, it is. Okay. Cow. Wow, I'm so thankful I had to barely go anywhere for that. Barely. You drip the invigorating fertilizer on the stumpy branch and it shakes with energy. The ground trembles as it as its roots rip out what okay, I'm not gonna finish reading that. <laughs> oh god, what the hell? Hello? You find yourself looking up at an odd little house that has grown out of the flower bed. An even odder little man sits on the porch glaring at you. Oh, will you just leave me be? I don't know how you managed to track me down, but please go away. Hold on now, you've led me on quite the merry goose chase. You are the rumpling, are you not? He sighs and cleans a smudge off his spe spectacles. Congratulations, you caught me. The story is true then. I've caught you, now you must grant me my weight in gold. Curse that stupid legend. Look, sorry I came all this way, but I don't do that stuff no more. I'm retired. These days I'm more into woodworking. Wouldn't you rather have a cute little birdhouse instead? I know a magical contract when I hear one. I found you fair and square, so cough up the gold, shorty. Ha, too bad. I threw my alchemist stone into a bottomless lake without this... this that without that stone to make gold i'm as poor as a pauper why would you do that why'd you think because villains like you keep on trying to shake me down for money all that rotten stone ever did was bring me misery well i'm not leaving empty-handed you created the alchemist stone in the first place you must know how to make another he blinks at you with his magnified eyes you want an alchemist stone of your own ha 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 well okay it's your funeral lady I've still got the distilling equipment in my workshop. Just bring me these ingredients and make a new alchemist stone. Oh god. What the heck is all these? What? Okay, we're rich, so... Okay, silver fox fur. We need another puzzle box. So we need another seashell. Okay, let's go to the docks first. Let's start there. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't even remember what gives me a seashell again, because I never fucking found any. Um, fuck. I don't remember where the seashells come from! The ones I needed I found in a chest! Fuck. <laughs> um... Okay, I don't think it comes from those things, and it definitely doesn't come from a crab. Uh... Okay, wait. Let me Google it really quick. Which would where to get seashell? <laughs> uh, it drops from the villagers. Okay, I was kind of right. Fuck. Pickpockets club, so I need a shiny lure. Oh, uh, my Jesus Corp. Okay. Back to the forest we go to snip some rope. Actually, the field might be better. Fuck a YOLO, we're here now. Surely you can just- I know, yeah, why do I have to fucking loot some random for it? Like, what the fuck? Uh, shiny lure, okay, here. This. I know where the egg is, um, I just don't know how- I need to, like- There's, like, a duck guarding it or something. Uh, what else do we need? The- and here's one and I have to make sure there you go 
Okay, thank god. Okay. I'm so glad I caught that crab earlier with that crab chat. Oh my goodness, do you remember when I was like, I thought I needed like the skipper scales and he gave me two and I was totally gonna use it on another one of the skippers just in case and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna use it on this crab. Thank god. One less thing to make. Okay. Where you at, lady? You are not the lady I'm looking for. Is this a villager? Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks. You've given me so many. Um, puzzle box. Okay. And then we need silver fox furs. So yeah, let's go teleport to the mountain and see what we need for that. I'm so excited to go to the mountain more like, when we work on the stag. I think I can finish this game today. It'll be one of, well, on the longer side of a stream for me. But. A frozen treat. How do I get a snowflake? Frostling snow. Fuck the stupid wire. Okay. Well. Okay, a snow snare. We always need rope! Okay, what do I need again? I need rope for the frostling snare and then something else. Okay. Okay, back to the forest we go. <laughs> I believe. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun to like finish it on like the last day of uh, February. So that way, when we go into March, I can start a new game. That's what I was thinking, anyways. A thought process. Oops. Um. You're not allowed to look at a guide though. Hey, I haven't been looking at a guide, I just didn't know where the fuck to get the seashell. Cause like, I had to get a seashell for something else and then I found it in a chest. And then I think I had to pickpocket one of the ladies for something else. And then I just like amassed a bunch and I didn't even know that that's what I picked up cause I like wasn't paying attention. Okay. I need one of these. I already forgot what I need it for, but I know it needs to be filled with water. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, we have the snow snare. Okay, we just need to use the snow snare on the on the little thingy doodle man frostling. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, the Snapchat is popping off right now. What the heck? I've come back to like 300 messages on there. suspicious at all. Only gives me one? That's so stupid. Whatever. Dude, I'm, the music here is like, it's giving me like uh, Twilight Princess, like The Legend of Zelda, like that's the snowy mountain you go on vibes. Wait, is that all I needed? And the golden egg, okay. Actually, where is the collect crystal newt spines from the mountain? Okay. Dude, I fucking love Twilight Princess. That's probably like my fucking favorite Zelda game, honestly. I just love like, I don't know how it's like on the darker side, I guess. Damn, now I kind of want to play it. Yo, what am I looking for? Oh, shit. 
Up the slopes of the mountain, you spot a camp of dangerous looking fur trappers sharpening their spears. No need to bother them just yet. Okay. Well, that better not be where the newt is. Like, what the fuck? Collect crystal newt spines from the mountain. Don't have me. I'm not even sure I know what a crystal mate looks like. Stop right there. The court isn't accepting peasant complaints at the moment. Who are you calling a peasant? Well, whatever you are, you're not on the list. The stag is holding a very prestigious banquet. If you want to air your grievances to one of the royals, you might have better luck with the buck. Okay, well. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to. I didn't want to activate that yet. What is a crystal newt? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh wait, my journal changed. One second. Um. Yeah, I like. Yeah, Twilight Princess for sure. And then, yeah, Wind, Wind Waker. Is that what it's called? The one where you're on a boat. <laughs> it's like cell shaded and stuff. It's really cute. Okay. Glitter bomb on the goose. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Um, where's glitter bomb? Glitter bomb. <sighs> My whole life is just getting clay. Is there no clay here? Please. A crumb of clay. I'm gonna go to the swamp to get clay. Yeah, Wind Waker, yeah. Yeah, Skyward Sword, no. I did not like Skyward Sword. Ow. I don't even think I finished it, to be honest with you. Also, this guy said I would die trying to get this, like, make this alchemist stone, but, like, it was it so bad. <laughs> You haven't played that yet? Yeah, I didn't really like it. <laughs> yeah, I got fucked. Oh, the poor rooster, though. Okay, what the fuck is this? Collect crystal newt spines from the mountain. But where the fuck are they? <laughs> This is the mountain, right? Okay. This is the mountain. Okay, the bunnies didn't give it to me. The frostlings didn't give it to me. Like, the birds would not have that, right? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what the actual shit. The only thing I can think of is if I need to, like, progress the zone a bit more, I guess. Let's talk to this guy. Let's just progress it, I guess, a bit more. Stay back, spirit. I have nothing you want. Oh my god, look how dapper he is. Keep your wits about you, boy. I'm just an old woman. Oh, so you are. My apologies. One can never be too careful traveling about the mountainside. Plenty of tricksters like to disguise themselves and play pranks on me. I meant no disrespect. None taken. What are you doing out in the cold anyway? I've come to collect ice berries for my brother's coronation. He's going to be crowned king of the whole realm today. King? According to whom? Er, well, according to him, I suppose? He is the eldest, after all. He says it's his destiny. Some days, I'm not so sure, though. I feel like I could be doing more than just tending to castle gardens. So he gets to be king, and you get to pick berries till your fingers fall off. 
It's not so bad. I like the crisp air and fresh snow. There's something magical about the wilderness. Ah, but listen to me prattle on. I still need to collect the ice berries that my brother requested. He's very particular when it comes to, well, anything really. A job shared is job done quite uh, done twice as quickly. Let me help you before the frost bites. Why, well, thank you. I'm getting a bit chilly. Oh, I only need a few more ice berries. Okay. Um, okay, we're derailing, guys, because I have no fucking idea where to find these ice newt things. And Khan won't let me look up a guide. <laughs> now I'm destined to pick ice berries till my fingies fall off. Wow. Get away from my berries. Fucking stupid dog. Oh my god, okay. Oh my <laughs> What that scared me, I didn't know he was down there. I'll collect a bit more for good measure. Ooh, this one gave me like three. <laughs> nope. Any luck finding those ice berries? Here you go. Ah, just look at all the wonderful bounty you've gathered. He gladly takes the berries from you and places them in his pack. It was no problem at all. The stroll through the brisk air was quite refreshing. If only my brother cared as much for beauty of this place, uh, for the beauty of this place. He's always been content say staying amidst the nobles of his court. I should like to meet this brother of yours. He sounds like quite the ruler. Well, why didn't you say so? I'd be happy to invite you to the castle. The buck slips his arm out towards you in genuine, gentlemanly fashion. You take it with your gnarled claws and nod. Let's be off then, shall we? Oh shit, we teleported. Okay. How dare you speak to my guest with that tone? Apol apology, sir. I, I didn't know she was your guest. Don't apologize to me. I'm not the one you disrespected. Well, I like this guy. Right, right. Or I'm sorry, miss. What I meant to say was, or er, welcome to the court of the magnificent and benevolent stag. Louder, with a more pomp, please. I hereby welcome thee, lady of the erm, the swamp, <laughs> lady of the swamp, <laughs> to celebrate with us on this most auspicious day, the bequeathing of the kingdom to he whose antlers reach the hithermost clouds and shine with justice and that will do fine. Carry on, garden. We're right. <laughs> the buck turns to you and nods his pack. I've got to prepare these berries for the ceremony and do some final pruning in the hedge maze. I'll meet you inside. There better be fucking newts in here! I imagine the newts would be hiding under something. You'd think. Oh, like these maybe. Nope. I was debated. Fucking rude. I want to eat this castle. Looks like cake. Oh, a chest. Fuck. Sitting upon the lofty throne, the prince looms over his court of nobles. Guys, I'm not a furry, but this guy looks cute too. Not too many cakes, you can't outnumber the tarts. And where is my useless brother with those berries? Everything must be perfect for my coronation. I think I saw him slink off to the garden, sire, no doubt shirking his royal duties once again. Ingrid, I do I do ever so much for that little rascal, and he doesn't even bother to show me the respect I deserve. I should have had him exiled long ago, if only he weren't my brother. Oh. Fantastic idea, your grace. He'll be shown the door as soon as the ceremony is concluded, I assure you. Ha! My days of sharing the throne with that dandelion are almost over. It is best he lives out his days on the mountain. Lord knows that's where he belongs. The stag's eyes narrow suspiciously at a cluster of nobles. Speaking of my brother... Have you three taken care of the statue in the hedge maze? Oh, er, yes, your majesty, just as you requested. Don't you worry yourself, my lord. The nobles exchange hurried whispers, but you can't hear them clearly. I wonder what all the fuss has to do with a measly statue. Something doesn't feel right. Perhaps I ought to take a look myself. Well, I'm gonna loot this chest. Yeah, I'm looking at him. Oh, I kind of want a screenshot. Here we go. <laughs> I want to be with the party. Yeah, there's literally like nothing here. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Okay. Maybe they're in here. I want to say doubtful, but... Oh god. I'm not good at mazes. 
Oh, I found him. Wow, I'm so good at mazes. <laughs> Hi, Jern! Hello, hello! How are you? Have you watched Beastars? I'm not a fur for either. No, I haven't, but I need to. It's on my list. Wait, who the fuck are you? Find the statue. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, wait. I did find it. At the foot of the marble statue is cracked in a weather-beaten plaque. You wipe snow from the engraved slab and find the large chunks have been hone hewn, hewn away from it. Only a few words are still legible. Stag. Rightful heir and ruler. Revealed. Hmm. The choice of words is convenient for a royal aspirant. I wonder what the rest of the story has to say about the matter. You pick a tuft of colorful fur caught on the statue's raised hoof. It looks to be from a very expensive piece of clothing. The nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secrets of this statue. Plaque piece? What the fuck? Do I have to find this? No, I don't. Okay, but I kind of low-key want to like go through the maze. See if I can find any more chests hiding around. <laughs> Zoom! I wanted to do the mountain last, but I can't find the fucking note! Like, where the fuck? I like this hedge mate, so I'm, I like the color. I like purple. Green first, then purple. Would you believe me if my, my favorite color used to be blue? Hello! Truth serum. Okay, okay. Do I need three of them, though? That's the question. What do we need? Crow's foot. Okay. I guess I'll preemptively, like, make three of them. Fuck, I don't know. I just want to know where the fucking notes are! Because, yeah, if I press G, it, like, highlights things that I can, like, interact with. So, when you said, like, oh, maybe you have to dig it up, because, like, that makes... That makes total sense. So I'm like looking for things to like dig up, but like, yeah. There was like nothing. Okay, wait, what was I? I need like little. Where are those little mushroom things? Oh, oh, oh! Oh god, okay, we found it, we found it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And we don't have enough. Okay, we need. We need three. Okay, so we need nine berries. Okay, let's go. We come back to him. We come back to him. Well, I found it. I did it, Khan. I did it. Okay. Look at him. But I can't get him yet because I need fucking, like, reed. Or I need more, like, rope stuff and I don't have any. Okay. Okay, we have enough berries. We need to go get five more of that. We also need to go get more snap vines. Okay, we're going to the swamp. We did it. You know what was stupid is because I've I've like chopped those um I've chopped them before and newts didn't fly out of them. So that's why I was like, yeah, it couldn't be that, right? Uh, okay. We need lots of this. I need a sh shit ton of these. Okay. Two more of the reeds. Oh. Okay. We need Okay, chilled mushrooms are just on the mountain and then we need I would say three crow's foot and those probably need these, so we just need more of Fuck, I hate it when it only gives me one. Like, give me more than one, please. Okay. And then 
the fields. I do need to do some... Uh, um, I need to move things around. I think the crows fit. Yeah, we can just... I hope, hopefully, yeah, I hope they're, like, flying ones, not... I hope they don't need bait sticks. They wouldn't need bait sticks, right? Okay, yeah, no, they don't. Okay, sweet. Come on over. I guess I could just put three down, eh? Um... <laughs> no! I'm sorry, I'll hide behind this tree. Hello? Yes, get closer. Oh my god, that took forever. Be a deer like the bunnies and just explode right away, thanks. Okay, 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 okay. Here, get in there. Yay! Oh, he gives me more than one! Oh my god, he gave me so many! Shit. I didn't even need to, like, do that a ton. Oh, whatever. I have them now. I might as well use, use it. Ooh, I get newt eyes, though. Sick. Okay. Um, okay, well, I guess we can go back to the hawk one. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go finish that. Uh, where was this? The fields, I think. <gasps> Have a good lark, Con! I'm almost done my tea. Mm -hmm. That I got two and a half hours ago. <laughs> right before stream. Ooh, let me grab all these. Never have enough fairy dust and fairy people. Here we go. The rumpling's eyes light up at the sight of the allo alloy and he rubs his fingers together in anticipation. Oh no, I was just hiding. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> I still got the distilling equipment in my work. Oh, right, here we go. Your fucking spines that took me forever to get. The rumpling looks away from the newt spine, gesturing, gesturing vaguely at the ground beside him. You lay it nearby. And the golden egg. You pass the golden egg into the hands of the rumpling, who receives it tentatively, as if it could hatch at any moment. Collecting all the components into his arms, the rumpling disappears into his little treehouse. You can't tell exactly what he's doing inside, but the sounds and smells emanating from the chimney make you think it's better left unknown. He emerges some time later with singed eyebrows and foggy glasses. Eureka! I've done it! He holds out a glowing emerald with a pair of iron tongs. Here, hee hee, go ahead, it's yours. Thank you. You appraise the glittering jewel. It's abnormally heavy in your hands. Very pretty. The little man's giggling abruptly stops and his face falters with disbelief. Oh, hmm. What's the matter? You seem disappointed. I- oh, it's nothing. This is just not what I was expecting at all. He strokes his beard thoughtfully. I guess I should have told you over earlier, but there's a slight, uh, curse to the stone. It can only be touched by one whose heart is free of avarice. How convenient of you to leave that part out. Since you went through all the trouble of tracking me down, I just assumed you were in it for the gold. Oh my, no. I don't care much for the, that wretched stuff. This gold is meant for someone else. Well, I gave you what you asked for. Our deal is done. I'll leave you in peace. All right, all right. No need to be rude. I've got to bring the stone back to the millers. Oh wait, he's, am I gonna give it to the millers and they're just gonna get like fat stacks of gold and they won't even care? I thought we were gonna like, now that he said there's a curse on it, I thought we were gonna give it to the hawk so that way it can curse the hawk and then like fuck him up. That's what I was thinking. I feel like that's still what's gonna happen. The millers are gonna be like, we don't need that. 
I'm just collecting this in case we need more because for some reason we've needed so much fucking rope. I'm back. You're back. The hawk will return with his goons any minute now. Don't worry, I've got a solution to your monetary, pro monetary problems right here. You hold up the alchemist stone proudly. Oh, that's a very fine jewel, but I don't think it'll be nearly enough to satisfy the hawk. Just stand back and watch. All this grain is just waiting to be spun into gold. Where is he? Where is he? Use the grain. Wait, where is it? Here. <gasps> you place the stone into a barrel of grain and it melts through the kernels like butter. The barrel bursts under the weight of glittering gold coin, uh, of glittering golden coins spilling out onto the floor. Wow, it's a miracle. Oh my god, how many times do I have to do it? <gasps> this is fun. You touch the alchemist stone to a bushel of straw. And it instantly transforms into a mound of sparkling riches. Amazing, I can't believe my eyes. What are they gonna, like, ground flour with, though? Like, I'm sure they use it for making bread or some shit. <laughs> you roll the alchemist stone into a bag of flour and mountains of golden dust rip through the canvas sack. How is this possible? I've never seen so much gold in my life. Um, before the millers can do, can do so much as count a single coin, the door crashes open. The hawk strides into the mill, flanked by a pair of guards cracking their knuckles. Time's up. Where's my money? Yeah, pay up, squirts. M Master Hawk, not to worry, we've got your payment right here. His eyes open wide at the sight of piles of gold strewn about the mill. What? But how? Never you mind how. This should be more than enough to cover the cost of the miller's debts and the deed to the property. I don't understand. Unless, no, it can't be. He points at a hooked talon at you accusingly. You, you're the rumbling. There's no other explanation. Guards, seize her. The two goons leap forward and grab you roughly by the arms. You're making a terrible mistake. Just take your money and leave these good people in peace. Don't play smart with me, imp. I know how the legend goes. I've caught you and now you must give me my weight in gold. I'm rich. I'll lock you up and squeeze you for every penny you've got. I'll be the wealthiest hawk in the entire kingdom. No, the entire world. Now pay out my first installment, rumpling. He stretches out his hand towards you greedily. As you wish. I'm getting too excited over this. This is fun. You dangle the alchemist stone over his palm. Haha. <laughs> he got his weight in gold, that's for sure. No sooner does the gold stone touch the hawk's skin than a brilliant flash of yellow engulfs the mill. When the light fades, the hawk before you stands transmuted into a solid gold statue. What, what magic is this? Horrified, the two soldiers beat a hastily retreat through the door. What, what happened? Is he okay? You tuck the stone safely back into your satchel and give the hawk a statue a pat. I think this should set you up nicely. Just don't go spending it all in one place. Th thank you. How could we ever make this up to you? Live a rich and full life. That ought to be enough for anyone. You notice a stray feather glinting on the floor. Well, I hope they move him. Can they even move that? He's pure gold. Isn't he heavy? You pluck the golden feather and run your fingers along the gleaming barbels. It makes a sound like coins falling into a wishing well. The soul of the hawk. This is my payment. Hee <laughs> hee. Fuck you, bitch. Yay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go finish the stag one since we already started it. Oh, look. More stuff to... More rope. We're gonna need that. I mean, the wolf in the village sounds cool. Oh, that makes sense, because there's sheep in the village, and then there's wolf in the village. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, what did we need? Interrogate the nobles. I'm going to make one of these. And yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know if like it can be used multiple times or what, but I still need to like collect a bunch of those like mushroom things. I don't remember where I'm going. Somewhere down here. What the hell? I'm getting a spam call. Decline. Sorry, bro. I'm streaming. Okay, well, let me chop up a few more because if I do need more, I'm gonna need six. Six more. I'm not gonna use the thing on the newt just because I might need like frost wing stuff, so.
Oh my god, this is music's making me want to play Twilight Princess now. Okay, first people. A noble woman snaps her fingers as you as you pass by. You there, freshen up my wine. Nodding politely, you dip your syringe into her glass and squeeze out a good amount of the purple liquid. She sips it with her nose high in the air. There's a broken plaque in the hedge maze. What do you know about it? The plaque? It's the last time I help out the stag, I'll tell you that much. He was whining about a prophecy or such, some such nonsense. Told me to get rid of a piece of that plaque for him. I tore my finest winter muff trying to get to grips with the damnable thing, so I left it under a big tree in the middle of the hedge maze. You snap your fingers and the noble woman makes a disappointed frown. She pulls up her collar in a huff and rejoins the party as if nothing happened. Okay, so it does look like that I need to make two more. Uh, who's next? You slather a cracker with liver pate and drizzle some si uh, scintillating serum over the top. Scintillating? Uh, soon enough, a nobleman lick, lick his lips and indulges himself. What do you know about the statue in the hedge maze? The nobleman scratches his chin absentmindedly. Oh, you mean the one the stag smashed up? I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but you told me to get rid of some chunk of marble. A terrible heavy thing. Anyway, I just left it behind one of the wooden benches in the maze. Did you really expect me to lug it all the way out of the castle? You snap your fingers and the nobleman immediately goes back to snacking as if nothing happened. You stick your syringe into a plump macaron and offer it up to the nearest nobleman on a silver platter. He pops it into his mouth without even looking at you. The broken plaque in the hedge maze. Would you happen to know anything about it? The noble's eyes flutter as it, and they speak as if conversing with themselves. Can you believe the audacity of the stag? He broke it. He should have been the one disposing the pieces. Well, I couldn't be bothered to do such menial labor. Can you imagine? Ugh. So anyways, I toss my piece into the southeast corner of the maze. Next time he should come uh, get some of his servants to do his dirty work. You snap your finger at the noble. They sneer at you for a moment before returning to their wine as if nothing happened. Okay, let's go. Oh. Clearly we know which stag should be ruling. <laughs> Not this guy. Okay, in the tree in the center. This one. Wedged under the tree's forking roots lies a jagged piece of stone. Take it. And then the bench is up here. I was wondering why there's a random bench out here. Just as described, a piece of uh, plaque seems to have been kicked under the bench, forgotten. And then southeast. Buried beneath a heaping of snow, you finally managed to find a hunk of stone. Yay. That looks like the last piece of the plaque. I'll have to reassemble them at the stag statue if I want to make any sense of this. <laughs> the nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secret. Here you go. You snap the broken chunks of marble back into place. Despite some marring on the surface, you can read the plaque quite clearly. The buck and the stag, the tale of two princes. Only one destined to be outright... Oh... Only one destined to be right, to be rightful, the heir and the ruler. The king will be revealed by the touch of the truest crystal flower. Looks like the stag is trying to cut his dear brother out of his birthright. I wonder what's his, the business with the crystal flower. The buck knows his way around a garden. Perhaps I'll have some idea. Right, he's a buck, not a stag. <laughs> welcome back! Work was bringing my brain today. Finally done. Well, welcome back. Now, now it's over. Now you're done. Looking his ears, the young gardener puts his pruning shears down at your approach. Hello again. Lovely day for a walk in the hedge maze. Granted, you don't get lost. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about a crystal flower, would you? <gasps> crystal flowers? Why, they're very rare. It's said that they only grow in a cave on the highest peak of the mountain. According to the legend, the truth of one's heart is refracted in the faucets of each frosted petal. Why do you ask? No reason. I just thought one might make a nice gift for your brother's big day. Hey, hey, you're right. That's a brilliant idea. What better gift from the quartz gardener than a beautiful crystal flower? Oh, but the trek up the mountain is perilous. I don't know if I have what it takes. Nonsense. I was heading up that way anyways. You just stay close behind. Really? You'd help me? Well, all right. What are we waiting for then? Meet me up by the slopes and we'll go underway. Oh my god, you couldn't have teleported me like the first time? There was literally one file that just did me and I couldn't find anything I needed. Oh, that sucked. 
Is there no one around to help? Like, didn't you just start that job? <laughs> I finally finished all my tea. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm assuming it's over here where it told us we couldn't go earlier, so. There you are. You see the bug hiding behind a bush, anxiously waiting or watching something up ahead. What's the matter? Did you get cold feet already? Shh, they'll hear you. Look. Through the boughs, you can make out figures moving across the snow. They're covered in warm pelts and carry sharp looking spears. The royal trappers, they keep my brother's court supplied with furs, but they've been out here for so long they'll hunt anything that moves. It would be a shame if those antlers of yours ended up as someone's trophy. Wait here and let me deal with them. All right, be careful. Hello? Where the fuck is everyone? Okay. Oh. A touch of cold. What the fuck? Okay. Metamorphosis elixir. Changeling, bug ichor, and dried fruit. Okay. That's easy enough to get. I don't remember what gives us the bug ichor. How many of these do we need? Two? Do we need two of them? No, just one. Okay. Just one. We have bottled despair already and we need frostling snow. Oh my god, thank god I didn't fucking use up my snares. Because I don't need them. Now nah, I got help, but like I tried to do it solo for so long because I'm too stubborn like that. When I go now, I feel you. I feel you. <gasps> I fucking feel you there. What the fuck are these frostlings? What the hell? Okay. Um... No. Oh no, they need this trap. Okay. Sorry, I was afraid. I thought that. I thought that. Okay, I'm gonna go to a different one. Give me ones that aren't surrounded by fucking monsters. Here's one, right? Here. Give me two crystal snow thingies, please. I don't wanna make another one of these. Okay, wait, we have enough though. We just need some berries. Okay, easy clap. He's shy. Shy boy. Okay. What do we need? We need metamorphosis potion. So we need to go get a dried fruit, which we need a cinder box for, which that's fine then. We need one. Um, and we need bug ichor and two changeling roots. Let's go to the forest. I forgot where we get the bug icker from. Like, does that come from any bug? Uh, I know there's a tree up here somewhere. Here you are. Thank you. And there's two changelings here. If I just don't get attacked by the dog. Okay. And bug icker. Okay. Icker, icker. I think they just drop off of any bugs, but I don't know. Let me see. Can I make a smoke bomb easily? No, I cannot because I never- Oh wait, there's clay over here though. Don't come near me. Fuck off, you stupid bug. Okay. I think I should be able to... 
Come over here. Come, come. Be angry at me. No. Okay, okay, guys. Get over here. It's not that hard. You can suck my blood. Because something did end up killing me. Attacking me. But that's fine. Well, that actually wasn't so hard. I had all those despair tier things from earlier when I fucked up and thought I needed like three of them. So, worked out. We're actually like cruising through these two. I can't imagine there's like much more to the stag one and then we just have the wolf one last. I hope I can group these guys all up too. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Where do I use it? Oh, okay. Come on guys. Everyone over here. Yeah. Oh god. I hope it's like an area of effect thing. Okay. Oh, I just had to walk in here with it. Well, okay. Glance at the buck hiding safely behind a tree at the far side of the camp, making a raven's call. You signal for him to join you. The buck picks his way through the frozen trappers. Are they are they going to be okay? Oh, whoops, I accidentally skipped that. <laughs> I think I might know a way up. I'll meet you ahead. Come join me when you're ready. Yeah, because you know I gotta loot this place. So there's not really anything out here. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, this map's kind of big. <laughs> Are they angry? No. Before you stands, uh, stands a looming rock face. Not even the most determined climber could help hope to scale it. I thought you said you knew a way up the peak. Well, you see, this is the Great Geyser. When the air is cold enough, the water erupting from it freezes solid. I thought it might give us something to climb up. You look into the dry crater at the bottom of the sheer cliff. I don't see much erupting happening down there. Er, it's been dormant for a few seasons now. I kind of hope we'd get lucky. I don't trust any luck that I don't make myself. You take a moment to ponder your situation and eye the small geysers nearby, frequently spewing steam up into the frosty air. Oops. I suppose the other water spouts will all draw from the same underground source. I think you're right. They started popping up shortly after the great geyser fell silent. And I'll wager if we plug them all up, then we'll be able to make one the big one blow its top again. Plug them with what? You turn your attention to the, beam the bleeding mountain goats digging for a lichen nearby. Those frosty beasts look like, uh, look to be about the right diameter. Maybe I can coax some of them into the position. <gasps> what? How many do we need? Three? Goat perch? What the fuck? Please. Oh my god, thank god we have enough. Okay. Well, I hope this is something that, like, I can pick up and I don't need to make three of these because getting ten cobblestone every time kind of fucking sucks. Whoa! Okay. Well, I'm definitely way too lazy, so I'm just going to use one of these again and go back to the teleport. And now we can go get stuff. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna need, like... There's no way that they're gonna make me make three of those. Like, that's a lot, right? I feel like that's a lot. Yeah. Uh. 
bitch. Try that again. I don't even know how many we've collected. <laughs> I think we might have enough now. Ugh, but then it's gonna suck if I go back and I need three more, right? Like, oh my god, oh god, what do we do? Hmm... You know, I, I think we're only going to need one. I feel like we're only going to need one. I feel like we're going to use the perch to, like, get it up there. And then once it's up there, we can, like, pick it back up again. Maybe. I have no farm, I know. So I'm, like, picking up a bit more. Whatever. I still have more of the hearth seed, so if we do walk all the way up there and I end up needing more, then at least I can get back down here pretty quick. And it's not like there's too much to gather, it's just like, there's a lot of cobblestone, so... Because yeah, on it, it says like, it helps them get up. And I'm hoping they'll fall in. Oh look, now they're all spaced out nicely. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know how to lure them over. Oh, I see. I just don't. I guess I just don't let them, um, touch it. <laughs> You're not getting that. I was right, and I feel so mean about it. Oh no, where are the rest of the goats? I literally have to get all the goats to come from over here? You're joking. Oh my god, this is like a bad escort, like, fate in fucking FF. Okay, I think I'm gonna take you to the farther one. Okay, I'm so glad I didn't go fucking grab a bunch. Come over here, little guy. Just, just a few more. You can go on this lovely little geyser. Oh, they're probably getting scalded, their little butts. Okay. What? I have to get all the way down here? Okay. I wonder what happens if they catch up to it, like... Do they just stand on it? Do they eat it? Do they explode? I kinda wanna test it on one of the the extra goat. <laughs> Does that mean? <laughs> Almost there, little guy. Your prize is right here. Nope, I lied. With the plump bodies of brain goats clogging up the small geysers, the earth beneath your feet begins to grumble. The mountain goats' eyes go wide as the pressure builds beneath them. With no other outlet, the steam rushes towards the only opening left. With a deafening boom, the long dormant geysers erupt, sending a great spear of water high into the air. As the deluge reaches its apex, ice crystals begin to form in the mist, twinkling as they hang in the air. Bit by bit, they begin to build on each other, forming larger and larger crystals until it forms a great column of ice, rising all the way up toward the mountain peak. I can't believe it worked. Last one to the top is a spotted fawn. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just leave them there. You stand on the mountain's peak, bu buff buffet buffeted by wind and snow. Now then, where's this crystal cave you spoke of? I, I'm not sure. I think it could be just up ahead, but in this blizzard I can hardly see my own nose. The buck jumps behind you, pointing into the frigid fog. Wait, what was that? You squint into the galing winds, unable to see anything but white. Probably just another mountain goat. I wouldn't be so sure. When I was little, my brother told me stories of the snowkin who lived up here. He said if I ever went up the mountain, the snowkin would blow a great blizzard down on me. He said they'd turn me around and give me false directions until I got lost and froze solid. Sounds to me like these snowkin might be some kind of guardian spirits. 
And if they're aiming to keep people away from something, then surely they'll know where that something is. I've got a notion to find out our way as they do. Uh, but it will take a considerable, considerable quantity of their essence. Th that sounds dangerous. I'll just stay put then. I know better than to wander blind in a snowstorm. Um, okay, where are we going? Collect snow and hearts from the mountain peak. Okay. No fucking idea what those will look like. Oh, oh, okay. Melting pot? Wait, that is a snowkin, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, okay, so we have enough. Okay. How many do we need? Three. Okay, so we definitely have enough chili peppers. We need way more of these. We need three of them. So we need one more fly, and we need to get more of the campfire ember. And then we need red feathers, which are from the birds, which I assume are like the small traps as well, but... So we need coal. I believe there's some more down here. Or sorry, campfire embers. I'm sorry, goats. I didn't mean to. Okay, where are these birds? I need to see. Okay. Okay, so they need snap traps. So we actually might be able to make some. Oh yeah. I hope it gives me more than fucking one feather. Please give me more than one feather. Nope. Okay. We almost had enough. So we need three tin, uh, cinder boxes. We need more of those like tree nuts to make another snap trap. So let's go to the forest. And we also need more like fairy. Oh my god, look at all the wood. There's so much wood. I'm sorry, little guys. I have to. Okay. And we need six more of the cinder block things, I think. Wait a minute. Wait, no, I need... I need... Do I need... Fuck. I'm wondering if this is like a one-use thing, though, because shit, I need... I need six feathers, then. Which means I need six traps, I think. Okay. That's like the one thing I don't like about this game is that I can't tell like what items are like an area of effect and stuff like that. But whatever. I just need like a lot of these. Like I'd have to make four more snap traps. Do I have enough to make? No, I need three more. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, I definitely have enough, so yeah, let's just focus on getting the cinder. Hi, Trade! Also, hi, babe! How was pool? Did you win? We're almost winning. We have two souls left to get here. Okay. I think we have everything. Fuck, I don't know, should I make 
You know what, fuck it, yellow. I'll just make a few. So... Two, three... need to go catch capture four more birds hopefully we need i mean if we get more feathers then i'm sure that doesn't matter the snap traps are pretty easy to make yeah one three out of four games hell yeah it's not long it's no longer free anymore wait what what the fuck why not also why did they give it why did they give it to you for free yes my Freaking unsuspecting victims! <laughs> okay. Let's make one of them. Don't know, but I'm not complaining. I mean, maybe they recognize you. Because you don't go there that much, right? Like, you're not that much of a regular. Did they say when they stopped doing it? Ibziana. It is he. He has blessed us. Yeah, which is forever ago. Okay, hello. Okay, well, I'm glad I made more because that was a one-use-only type of thing, so... Dude, like, everyone's turned to stone here. Hello! This map's huge. What the fuck? Yeah, get out here. My G. <laughs> Eliana was popping my jaw on my joints, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I heard you got body slammed by the tick. It wasn't body slammed, I told you it was it was nicer than that. <laughs> They didn't fold her in half. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Look, see how the snow swirls in strange directions. Maybe the snow can know the path. There you go. You pile the mystical snow at the buck's feet and shield it from the howling winds. The flakes drift in the air like icy glitter. Oh, come on then. I'm getting chilly. You prod the snowdrift with a muttered invocation. Despite the chaotic storm, the snow crystals swirl into an icy ribbon and slowly trace a line up the mountain peak. There it goes. That must be the way to the crystal cave. He takes off after a trail. A trail like a shot. You hike up your skirt and do your best to keep up in the dense snow. Shall we? Oh, hell yeah, he teleported me. His face falls as you arrive at another sheer cliff. I don't understand. The snow slo stops here, but there isn't anything more than rocks. Did the snowkin mislead us? Are we lost? I don't want to freeze solid. This is no dead end. Look, you gesture to the cliff where the ed eddies of swirling snow quickly gather. Within moments, the entire wall of rock is buried under fresh white power powder. You reach out a clawed finger and touch the pure snow. It melts away to reveal a glittering opening in the stone. The crystal cave, you did it. Let's go in before we freeze to death. I'm certain the crystal flower must be inside. Okay. I'm chilling, man. The Cairo at the top. <laughs> I'm okay. When he did his, this popping thing to my neck, it was pretty close to a body slam. Oh my God. I get, yeah, he does. I don't think I'm heavy enough though. Oh dear, look at all these flowers. I didn't think there'd be so many. I'm going to pick a whole bouquet. You stop the Im impetu impit impetuous youth with a quick tug and mutter under your breath. Hold on. The prophecy mentioned the one true crystal flower. The other flowers must be a deception meant to trap foolhardy would-be kings. Prophecy? What are you talking about? Uh, um, I only mean to say that we should find the best single flower for your brother's coronation. Hmm, good point. Quality over quantity. Aha, I think I see, I see just one right over there. It's this one. It's perfect. Just look at the refraction of the petals and the frosting on the leaves. Oh, but I seem to have forgotten my pruning shears back at the castle. Would you do the honors? I don't want to damage it. I got you with my rusty-ass shears. 
He snipped the brittle stem of the flower, careful not to touch it directly. Prophecies can be nasty stuff to stick your fingers in. The buck holds the flower aloft, inhaling the, ma the blossom's magical aura. Wow, it smells just like powdered snow on fresh pine trees. The moment is interrupted by a shrill of ar aristocrats clamoring against each other. I found them! Over here, my lord! Oh, shit. <laughs> in a rush of co colorful fabrics and fancy hats, you find yourself surrounded by nobles. The stag steps out from their midst, looking irate. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me, brother? The young prince blinks in confusion. What are you doing here? I have, oh, have I offended you somehow? Usurper, you thought you could slip off when I wasn't looking and steal the crown from me? You think I don't know about the prophecy of the crystal flower? Why does everyone keep talking about a prophecy? I picked this flower as a gift for you, brother. Fool! Only the king can choose the true crystal flower, and you are not the king. The stag reaches down at his feet and plucks the closest flower. See? Only I can. Oh. Well. The stag never finishes his sentence, his defiant pose forever imprisoned inside solid ice. Oh, my brother, what have you done? You give the mystified buck a reassuring pat on the back as the nobles gather closer. The true king has been revealed indeed. King? You mean me? You are the, pr the prince, after all, and I suppose that prophecy was pretty clear. Magic flowers are seldom wrong about this sort of thing, and if you think, and if you tend to your kingdom with the same care you tend to your garden, you'll do just fine. The ring of nobles crowd, uh, crowd in the buck. You know, I never cared much for the stag himself. I think a new ruler will shake things up a bit. You excuse yourself as they bow and praise the confused lad. Long live the king! Passing the frozen stag, your eye catches on something sticking out of the permafrost. You reach down and pick out a, a shard of translucent ice, careful not to cut yourself on the sharp edges. Despite the warmth of your palm, it does not melt the soul of the stag. Ooh, I need a photo here. This is a good photo. Only I wanted it without him here, but, you know. Beautiful. Okay, guys, we only have one more soul left to get. And I'm way too fucking lazy to fight. Oh, wait. Oh, thank God it teleported to me. I was gonna say, if that freaking made me go all the way back, I would have fucking cried. Um... Oh my god, I'm not reading. Oh, what happened? Uh, I need like a Thai massage, but I heard it's painful. Af. Oh no. I heard something completely- What? What? I mean, that's at the end. Gotta finish it off somehow. Oh my god. It's always gotta be happy. Sweet release. I've heard that Thai massages are quite painful, so you need the happiness at the end to make it worth it. Oh no. I miss Cairo helping a shitload, but very pricey. Oh no, what about benefits from work? Does, like, can, are you on, like, Hollies? Do you get anything? Because I've, like, never, I've never, I've never actually, like, used the benefits at work to, like, go get anything done. Because I'm lazy. I'll give you a crack, my little, <laughs> a little crack, my prince. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Dag nabbit, what do they mean, too young for the tavern? I'm plenty big enough to go in there. Hello there, child. Why, what are you so perplexed about? Ch child? I'm no child. I'm a fierce, full-muscled man. He puffs out his tiny chest proudly. Oh, that must explain the little patches of fuzz on your chin there. His cheeks flush red in embarrassment as he tries to re reassert his dominant facade. Or facade. Hey, it's rude to stare. Anyway, I, I just shaved. I knew I wouldn't. I should have let my beard grow up more. That crotchety old barkeep says I look too young to go in the tavern. What business do you have in a dank place like that? A lad like you shouldn't be wasting his allowance on ale. I'm not wasting my- I don't get an allowance. I'm a brave hunter, or at least I will be as soon as I catch my first quarry. And what exactly are you hunting? Only the biggest, baddest of them all, the wolf. Do you know how many houses he's blown down? Not to mention all the missing maidens. Missing maidens, you say? Everyone knows that treacherous dog is a sweet tooth for, for pretty damsels. He lures them out into the dark woods so he can gobble them up. The town's guard too scared to help, so it's up to me to put a stop to this terror. And he's inside that tavern. Right now. A shame there's no miners allowed. Let me have a look at this feral fellow and see if he's as bad as you claim. Well, I guess I'll just post up here until he comes out. Then I'll give him a tape of my blunderbuss. Okay. Go off, I guess. My case is still not super serious, so I think I only need like one or two sessions. Damn. I can smell it. What the heck? <laughs> and work benefits cover like 350. The amount I had to spend is like 600. Holy shit. Jesus, you go three to four times a week? What the fuck? What the hell? Damn, yeah, one session is like 120. Jesus, dude, that's expensive. In these times? What? The longer you go, the less you have to go making it cheaper, but overall it's a big investment. Yeah, jeez. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, that is a bad wolf. Holy shit. 
He is massive. But I want to know if there's anything I can loot. And there is. Thank you. I don't know what voice I'm going to give this guy. You find the wolf looming over a frightened looking barmaid. Come on, Red. Why don't you join me for a midnight snack? I, th I already told you. I can't. I've got work to do. I'm sure your boss won't mind one bite. I mean, bit. Don't make me beg now. Please, I really have to get back to work. This is an interesting take on the story. Ah, but you're just so delectable. A real feast for the eyes. You accidentally tread on the wolf's tail. Oh, excuse me, sir. He jumps up with a yelp and spins to face you angrily. Yeah, watch where you're stepping, you old hag. Terribly sorry, I couldn't tell you apart from the dirty rug on the floor. He bears his fang fangs at you menacingly. What did you say to me? While the wolf is distracted, the young maiden slips away and disappears into the gloom of the tavern. Ugh. Now look what you've done. Where'd she go? He shoves his way past you to go prowling around the bar. Hm. The huntsman's tail rings true. I better find where that barmaid got to before she becomes dinner. Oh my god. Pretty scary. Just moved to Thailand and sprinkle some loonies on the floor like a what the fuck? Oh, work covers 80%. Hell yeah. Still, I can't believe you throw coins at- We don't throw coins at strippers, what the heck? Yeah, you throw fives at them instead. Look, they they play us. <laughs> you see the red maid's head poking up from behind the wooden barrel. Oh, it's just you. Thanks for helping me out back there. It was a little- getting a little cramped. It's hard enough serving meat all day, but to have to deal with that slavering wolf too? He does seem like the relentless type. Are you alright? Just a bit rattled. I was ready to smash a tray over his snout if he got any closer, but I'm sure that would have landed me in hot water with the boss. The wolf's turning over every table and bar stool trying to sniff you out. Great. I guess I'll just hide back here and uh, reorganize the storeroom or something. I admire your sense of self-preservation, but maybe there's a more permanent solution to this problem. I know a young huntsman looking to prove himself. Perhaps we can lure the wolf outside and deal with him there. Sure, but how? You can count me out as bait because I'm done being dog food. I doubt that mutt can see very well in this dingy place. I might be able to fashion a convincing enough likeness to trick him. You eye a nearby coat rack. This, that ought to make a good starting place. Well, whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. I'm losing out on tips. Oh, okay, we were just talking about tips. This old coat rack ought to serve as a solid frame. You won't need much of the much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. Oh my god, there's so much. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Big lad, right? Bro, and Berta back in the day, there was loony shooters and you toss coins at hook. Wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's crazy. I don't wanna see that. Um, what are we making again? Heat in my heart, craft a sewing kit. Oh my god, thank god we have enough to do that. Craft a protective talisman. Oh my god, we barely have enough for this. Actually, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it all. We need moo and a dog hair, so we need one of these. Do we have one of these already? Actually, let me move my inventory around because we don't need these. We probably don't need that either. Wait, sorry, what did we need again? Dog hair, which needs one of these, which needs one of these. Okay. I know there's a cow in the village. Ooh, give me some of these. Thank you. I wonder if there are dogs in the markets. <laughs> Chill hop! Hello, hello! How are you? Also, I think there's only cats in this village, but whatever. We came here for the cow, so... And that's to make this... Dude, we've had these dragonfly wings for like 10 years. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten more. Okay, just dog hair. Have the craziest looking rosin 
to dab. Come over, maybe we can get this to stop. <laughs> Doing well, I wanted a witchy vibe. Yes, we're actually almost done the game. We need one more soul left and then... And then whatever comes after that, I don't know. We're just trying to complete our contract with the wolf, so... Or sorry, the goat. Where are you at, little guy? I was gonna just do like two souls today, but then I'm like, wait, depending how quickly it takes to get the two souls, I might get more and yeah, here we are. Take that. Oh, no, take that. No, wait. Take that! I wish I could trim him more. Oh, I can't. And then we need the key to my heart. Okay, a skeleton key. Fuck, where do we get bones from? Okay, um, we need spirit salts. Okay, we just barely have enough. Okay, a skeleton key. And a love potion. We need- we'll get that from the graveyard and then we need oceanic oil. Fuck, okay. Okay. Why does this need so much stuff? What the actual flip right now? I thought the fucking pig one was bad. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Oh, thank you, Triple. Hell yeah. Why are they right behind here? Okay, we're collecting a bunch. Gimme, gimme. Okay. I need... Okay. Oh my god, this is actually terrible. Okay, we need more bug acre. Fuck. Why do we need so much hat? Okay. And we need one of these. And more bug acre. And... Another one of these. Oops. My god, my brain can't keep up with how much shit we need for this one. Jesus. I just don't want to go back and forth. Um. Okay, we need two more. We need one of these. We need one of these. Oh god, okay. We need more slabs. Oh my goodness. How do we even get in here? Can you even? Wait, what the fuck is this? What is this place? Back outside, the hatch back up to return to the forest? What? Actually. A trim Do you smoke cum? Weed or just normal so Weed! We stoners up in here. Dude, what was that? Why was there like a hatch? Okay, well let's go get the cinder box. Dryad shit. No, there's one up here. At least I think there's one up here. The fuck? Where is he down here? What the fuck? Where's this tree? Oh, here it is. To go to the swamp. Ow! 
Ow! What the fuck? I didn't even see him! Oh my god, that scared me! Please don't tell me- okay. And then me, let me just dig up some mud really quickly here. And then we're going to make a smoke thingy. And then we're gonna gather them all. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, they still got a hit on me, whatever. Okay. We need. Oh my god, guys, this is so much. Holy shit. Like, my brain trying to remember everything we need right now is crazy. <laughs> I have done in the past, but I prefer edibles. Yes, I like edibles too. What? What do you mean? Why are you asking me about meth? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Why can't I go in? Molly baby. I was a Molly baby until it made me an upset tummy baby. Gotta give me two. Okay. Oh, we crawled out of it. Okay. We need. Oh, we need more of that. Okay. We need a cobblestone. I wish the UK would just legalize weed here already. Oof, yeah, that'd be nice. It's legal here in Canada. I still got three grams from in my closet the last time I was on. Wait, you still have that shit? From like two years ago? A year ago? When the fuck was that? What the? That was forever ago. I hope this is what's needed for the deep ones, because I think I remember being that. I want to camp. I don't know, I was just making a statement. I haven't gone camping. Yeah, we want to go camping if if people are camping again in a, a long weekend of July. However, I'd need to buy camping gear because I always bunk with Teeks, and I think like she would bring her boyfriend up next time, so. Okay, what do we need to make? Sorry, let's see, a key, okay. Key. What do we need? We need a skeleton key. And we need a heart potion. And we need this. Okay, we have this. And we need to go to the graveyard so we can go get another flower and also... Wait, what do we need? We need a mummified head. Oh my god, we barely... Oh, we barely have like enough to make those. Holy shit! Okay. I went glamping once, and I just didn't feel I'm down to split. I'm glamping. Yes, you are glamping in September. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, like Aaron and Jordan and them will all go up and um, camp. So we're gonna do that. Uh, what do we need? Skeleton. Oh, I need more bones. I don't remember. I think they come in from here. Yeah. And I need another flower. Okay. Jesus Christ, that was a lot. <laughs> like getting cleared out of all these fucking materials right now. I want to sleep and what the fuck is? 
A moose could fuck you up. I want to be in Canada when you're in Canada. July, maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go turn this coat rack into a semi looking female. Key to my heart. You tap the key in, hear a lovely tone. This will power this will power the puppet's heart and give it a romantic alert. Sewing kit. You take a stock of the bits and bobs needed for sewing together, convincing physique. There should be enough spare rags in the storeroom for ample stuffing. And if this is a survived an attempt on the wolf, it will need all the magical assistance it can get. You place the last stitch against the mannequin's doll-like smile. Its plump head hangs against the coat rack, no livelier than a reed in the wind. Are you sure this will work? I know the wolf doesn't have the keenest eyes, but he's no fool either. You grin underneath your cauldron and extend a gnarled finger towards the red hood hanging on the coat rack. It will work just fine, my dear. A hound relies on his sense of smell more than anything else. This spare cloak of yours will complete the illusion. You throw a hood over the puppet's form and utter a dark curse beneath your breath. A great tremor passes through the building, shaking its found foundation and making the lights flicker. An eerie light fills the room, illuminating the puppet's body. Its head cocks, cocks ever so slightly to hold you in an unsettling gaze. It's, it's, it's alive. A masterful automation. I had better deploy this puppet out of the wolf's sight. This back room should do fine. Then I'll simply walk it over to that salivating carnivore and strike up a conversation. Wait, what am I doing with it? Walk the puppet? Oh. What the fuck? Uh, that's around Sham. Yes, it is. Okay, but long weekend is the very beginning of July and Sham is at the very end of July, so. I'll travel. Do it! Canada's the best. You guide the puppet on its invisible strings and bump into the wolf. Well, 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 look who's come back. I knew you couldn't hide from me forever. You contort the puppet in a flirtatious twist and blow a kiss from the doll's stitched lips. What do you say you and me get out of this stinking tavern, eh? I'll take you up to my place, let you simmer in the, uh, moonlight. You do your best to make the puppet uh, flutter its eyelashes seductively, but the lids get stuck halfway. Thankfully, the wolf is paying too much attention to his hunger to notice. Don't be shy now. I'll show you the night of your life. It'll be a real treat, I promise. The wolf caresses the doll's burlap cheek with a clawed finger grin grinning from ear to ear. The puppet returns his affection with a vacant, button-eyed stare. I've just got to get a few things prepared. Meet me in my cabin in the dark wood just north of the swamp. It's a very dangerous road, so don't think about running off. But don't worry, I'll be watching you every step of the way. You know, to make sure you're safe. He licks his chops enthusiastically. Lashing his uh, bushy tail back and forth, the wolf struts out of the tavern as if he had won a thousand gold coins. You pilot the doll back to the storeroom and it collapses into a bundle at your feet, ready for its next assignment. You did it! The wolf is finally out of my hair! Thank you so much! Maybe now I can finally get some work done around here. Hmm, but I didn't hear a gunshot from our brave huntsman. I best go see if his ambush went awry. Take care, my dear. Don't let the dogs keep you down. You- This man did not just fuck up all that work that I just did. Not to shoot this fucking wolf. My travel dilemmas would be resolved if I just- Yes, they would. Yes, they freaking would. So move over here. <laughs> Honestly, can't wait to be there. To be honest, never thought I would say that. But yeah, I'm eager. Why? You don't like your home country? The young hunter is practically shaking his boots when you find him outside the tavern. I I couldn't do it. I brought that wolf right to you and he chickened out. What kind of hunter are you? D did you see him? He's huge and hairy. He have, he gave one look at my little blunderbuss and howled with laughter. How am I even supposed to cr scratch that monster with this puny pop gun? Sounds like you need some better ammo. As I recall, wolves have a particular distaste for silver. By Ab Abraham's beard, you're right. What I need is a silver bullet. Okay, the next thing. Oh my god, we've almost made everything. Like, we have one more thing down here we don't know. Oh no. Sorry, we know so much. Fuck, okay. We need a puzzle box. Changeling, okay. One thing at a time. One, wait, what do we need for the pot? Okay. Okay, we can get the birds. Chili peppers up there. We need two more fireflies for a cinder block. We need the puzzle box, so we need changelings. Okay, we need to go to the firefly area in the forest. Oh my goodness. 
No, I just don't want to travel all the time and be anchored over there. Oh, okay. And now that the homies are moving there too, it's going to be our... I know everyone's like moving down to where I live. Oh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> It is great. I am not complaining. Okay. Wait, where did the little um dude go? Where did the frog kid go? Okay, I see you changeling. Okay. Wait, what did we need a cinder bot? Okay, yeah, we just need it for that. We have two for that. We'll get that there. What else do we need? This moon globy thing. The glittering bomb. Okay, we need more, one more thing of clay. I think I'm gonna go up north and get that. Hey, maybe that's where he lives. Cause like he said north of the swamp and the only thing north of the swamp is that troll who like farted and was like, leave me alone. And then it's toot never like dissipated. Uh okay, what were we making? We wanted a jar. We wanted one of these. We wanted one of these. And what is this? Fuck, what did this foxes? I don't remember what it took to get rid of the foxes. Fuck. Oh, it was the um this meat, which we already have. Okay, sick. And we just need one more changeling. And there's one up here. As long as this guy doesn't fuck me over. Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! I'm chasing this one instead. Okay. Um, now we have a puzzle box. Okay, we just need to go up to the north. Sorry, I'm like distracted getting this. There's always events in multiple times during the same month and I can't keep going back and forth. Yep. I saw that Excision is doing a van event this Friday and Saturday too. What? I didn't know that. I'm also lazy. I'm like, I don't think I could work 5 a.m. to 1.30 and then go to an Excision concert on Friday. Because I have a birthday party in VR to go to on Saturday. So that's gonna be lit. Wait! No! The little rabbit got fucked up instead! No, but now I don't have any more! I don't have any more of those freaking like, nut things! What? <gasps> <laughs> I hate my life. Okay, I guess we're going back to the forest. Yeah, I don't know if it's like invite only or what because it's not, um, it's some uh, VTuber mutual friends of mine and they just added me to a, well, they added me to a group chat today about it but then we maxed out in the group chat at eight people so we're like wait maybe we should make a like discord for it instead um but yeah i don't i don't know what we're we're just gonna be like chilling in the world but yeah i don't know if it's like mutuals can come of other mutuals or what's the hats but i can always ask Okay, what the hell? Where are the little nuts? Okay, they're there. Okay, I have to be very careful that the fucking little rabbit doesn't steal it. I wanna get some more pool practice. Oh, I think that's what they were talking about too. They're like, we need a world that has a pool in it and beer pong. So I was like, hell yeah. I'm gonna be- oh, I missed it. I'm gonna be down for everything, uh, once a month there, so you always have a homie to go to events with. Hell yeah. What about me? Okay, I need to pick this up the moment I see a fucking rabbit come over. I think we're good, though. Go. Get closer. Thank you. 
Okay, what do we need? One of these. And... Where are the doggos? Where are the doggos? Hey, hello! Come at me, bro. Come on. Yeah, come over here. Oh my god. I hate it when they're like behind things and I have to loot them. Like, can you like come over here, please? Yeah, eat it. Wait! Did I actually just get debated right now? I'm using my shears on him. What? <laughs> oh, actually. What the? Oh, fuck. Oh no, like none of my shit's working right now. Okay, wait, let me exit it and come back. He better still be asleep. Fuck, okay. Oh no, what happened? Okay, wait, I might need to restart the game once again. The fuck? That was weird. Can't tell me this game's gonna fuck up right at the very end. What the heck? <gasps> really? Hello, hello! Oh, sorry, my fucking shit was being weird. I don't think anything's like... None of my keys are fucked. Dude, if my game's fucked and we're at like the very end... Oh my god, okay, thank god. <clears throat> but now I have to make one of those things all over again. Oh my god, so that means I need to make a snow trap. Oh my god, this sucks so much ass. <laughs> okay. That was lame. Okay, back to the forest we go! How are you? We're almost done this game, but I'm getting cucked by the controls. <laughs> okay. Where are the little nuts? Oh, here they are. Okay. So to make this, we need to make this, make this, and we'll make one of those, and to get that, we need two little beads, two ropes. Well, this should be it for him though, right? Like, I feel like we shouldn't have to craft anything else after this, because, like, the silver bullet's gonna kill him, right? <laughs> Unless we have to do something to move that troll, which, like, we're probably gonna have to do, honestly. Um... I miss anything, I just woke up, I'm good though, I've been living, trying to be healthy and playing cozy, hell yeah. Uh, we finished three of the souls. And yeah, we're just on our last one before our contract should be good. Okay, little snowy guy, come over here. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, thank God, okay. 
Okay, we have everything. Perfect. And I forgot where we're going. Village. By Abraham. Okay, here you go. This is perfect. That wolf won't know what hit him. I'll meet you at the dark wig and we'll put an end to his terror once and for all. With bullet and blunderbuss in hand, the huntsman jogs off down the road towards the swamp. I sure hope he finds his bravery, bravery along the way, or it won't matter what sort of slugs he's pulling in. I mean, we could have just easily taken it from him and then him lie and say he killed it when he didn't. That's a food for thought. Okay. Okay, yes, it is up by the smelly 2D troll. Oh, the troll's gone now. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anything we can loot? Okay, we're going in. We're going in. Let's go. Ooh, spoopy. You find yourself looking down the gaping mouth of a gun muzzle. Who, who's there? Show yourself. Don't you point that thing at me. Oh, yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. It's just so dark in here. Dark in dark, darn dark here. I can hardly see my own shadow. Why do you think they call it the Darkwood? Keep your head on your shoulders, lad. We've got a big bad wolf to bring down. Er, right. <laughs> I'm totally not afraid of a vicious seven-foot-tall killer who makes his home in a forest as black as night. You need to concentrate on the task at hand. We only have one silver bullet, and if the wolf catches even the smallest whiff of our plan, it's curtains for us. Haha, <laughs> no pressure, so what exactly is the plan? The wolf is waiting in his cabin. I'll sneak up and lure him uh, to you with my puppet, just as I did before at the tavern. Meanwhile, you'll find a good hiding spot and ready your gun. And this time I won't wimp out. I've got the silver bullet. So, uh, do you know which way the, to the wolf's cabin? I can't really make out a path or anything. Let me worry about that. You just get yourself ready. And remember, don't miss. I kind of want to take a photo here too. It's pretty. What is this wolf? Ooh, this owl. I can't do anything with it either. Um, I'm so excited to play this now. Maybe I'll find motivation. Yeah, it's cute. You squeeze through the gaps in the trees and duck under claw-like branches, but you've somehow managed to end up right where you stand. What? Oh, I'll never make head nor tail of these pathways. Perhaps I should ask someone with a bird's eye view. A keen-eyed owl inspects you from its root. Well, hoo 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 to you too. I wonder what it is you're trying to say. Oh, that's our last thing, I think. <gasps> Yes, it's the last thing. Okay, we need two more bird things. We definitely have enough blood, and we need a stuffed burb. Uh, which is here, which is what the fuck? Blue feather, so two small traps, a key. Okay. Okay. So we need four small traps at least. I don't remember how we catch a pigeon. Okay, maybe we need five small traps. Okay. Well, we just need the reeds, so... And the little forest nuts. Okay. Snip a bunch of these. Dodge. Were there some up here? I think there might have been one. Nope. I don't know why I'm going here for them. I feel like this is like one of the worst spots to grab them. We need two more. On the game, give me two more, please. Any over here? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Please give me two. Okay. Okay. 
Oh wait, I only need a five. Wait, how much did we need? Yeah, five. Oh, but I need more nuts, okay. I need more nuts. Where are the nuts? Oh, here they are. Two, three. Where are the rest? Four. And I think we just need one more. Come on. And we need two, so... I can't have a squirrel get caught in it. Not a big fan of playing these kind of games, but they're nice to watch. <laughs> oh, I love them. I mean, I like anything with a story, so this technically has a story. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Okay, we're moving. Fuck the squirrels. There's too many squirrels over here. Okay. Right there. No squirrels, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have those, and then I think we need red feathers for this. Yeah, we need two red feathers. Let's look at those two. So that's easy. But we can't let the bunnies, so I think here's good. In here. Oh, get away from me. Okay, and then so we need one of these, so we need a mimic's toe and the seagull head village or market but we need these salts which we need these oh my god we need one more nut thing but I swear I used to have like so many of them and now I have like none I thought they sometimes dropped out of these trees too but I feel like I'm not having any any luck with that? Okay, here's one. Um... What else do we need? Bones, but that's easy enough to get. Thank you. Okay, we good. I need bones. I need to dig up. Okay, bro, stop crying. The bones. Oh, here we go. And this is true. That's at the market. Market or the village, I think. Oh my god. Let me let me loot that, yo. I thought they popped out of the ground with like the stone slabs. Or do they come out of these things? Oh! Ow! I want 
want that. What is that? Oh, it's just an egg. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, what is going on right now? Holy shit. Okay, I swear I am able to get nails from here. Am I fucking crazy? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Dude, where are the nails? Okay, well, where do we get a seagull head? Village or the market? And we're in the village, so let's see if we can put one down and get one at least, if no fucking nail. Tea time for me now? Hell yeah. Okay. We need a mimic's toe. We need a fucking nail. Watch, it's gonna be in this one right here, and this guy's gonna fucking bother me. I've come all the way down here. Wait. Dude, I must be dumb as fuck. Like, where the fuck do I get nails? Oh my god, I found one. Fucking finally. Okay, then what do we need this for? Because we need a Mimic's Toe. I just had the worst fucking luck there. Like, what the hell? And of course he gives me more nails. Wait, did he give me a toe? Okay, oh thank god. I didn't even see myself pick it up. I was so scared. Okay. And then we need to go to this one. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. How do I... You wave your linguistic scroll at the owl, magical quill at the ready. Well, speak up. The quill scribbles across the parchment of its own accord, translating the owl's hoots into something more understandable. Walk warily, naive neighbor. Exploration seldom escapes notice. What does that even mean? I thought owls were supposed to be wise. Walk narrowly. Oh. Okay. Oh. West, west, north, north, east, south. Okay, I'm never gonna remember that. Uh, how do I take a screenshot with Windows again? Or actually, Notepad. West, west, north, north, west, west, north, north, east, south, east, north, east, south, east, north. Okay. Okay. West. <gasps> Sorry. And then west again. I feel like I'm in the lost woods of, uh, of Green of Time. North. North. I think we go east here. Then we go south. Then we go east. Then we go north. 
Ooh, I made it. Hell yeah. A thin print screen. Okay. I forgot about that one. <laughs> this must be the wolf's cabin up ahead. He's expecting Little Red to come and knock him, so I'll need to use the puppet to lure him into the hus huntsman's ambush. Your puppet. Uh, you puppet the red-headed or the red-headed doll to the door of the wolf's rickety cabin. An evil light glows from within, casting eerie shadows on the ground. You lift the puppet's head to peep through the window, spotting chewed bones and torn rags littering the floor, but no sign of the wolf. Suddenly, yellow eyes stab out of the shadows. There you are, my delicate little pork chop. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. Through the strings of the puppet, a chill runs down your spine as your animal instincts can't help but to scream one thing. Run! Wait. Oh, no, wait. I'm not. Oh. Wait, where do I go? Uh, preferring to hunt under the cover of darkness, the wolf pauses to snuff out a glimmering wisp. You'll need to use these wisps to your advantage if you hope to outrun the wolf. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. The wolf's claws close around the puppet as he opens his jaws wide to swallow it whole. Before he can snatch up the doll in his teeth, you yank at some visible strings, pulling the puppet out of his grasp and back to your hiding spot. Drat, I'll need to start over again. He's fast, but the wisp light might be enough to distract him. Okay. Oh, shit. Let's try this again. Okay. Ooh. I can only run so fast. Where the fuck did this huntsman hide? Why this guy's picky about how he hunts? Who even put these all up here? He is a large boy. Slow poke. I feel like I gotta wait for him. <laughs> They'll lose me. It's at your command. The puppet comes to a halt at the center of the moonlit clearing. The wolf bursts out of the shadows, gripped by ferocious rage. Ha ha ha! There's no place left to hide, little piggy. You're mine now, all mine. Baring his fangs, the wolf pounces in the air with tremendous force. The sound of thunder roars loudly from across the clearing. Crows scatter into the night air, and the dark wood falls silent. Blinking in disbelief, the wolf staggers to a stop. He glances down at his chest, where a crimson spot blossoms out onto his vest. The huntsman reveals himself from the bushes, holding his smoking weapon anxiously. You. You shot me. The beast crashes to the ground, exhaling his, his final breath, his glassy eyes transfixed on the full moon high above. Hesitantly, the huntsman boggles at the wolf before a triumphant grin crosses his face. I did it. I actually did it. I defeated the wolf. Don't forget that you had some help, kid. This villain won't hunt any longer, and that's what that really matter that's what really matters. As the huntsman strikes a courageous pose atop his trophy, something pearly white falls from the wolf's mouth. Oh my god, look at him. <laughs> You pick up a glistening fang, broken by the wolf's fall. From deep inside the bloody tooth, you can faintly hear the whimpering of a dog. The soul of the wolf. Ooh, I kind of want a photo. The souls of the stag, hawk, hogs, and wolf rattle inside your pack like angry insects. That's the last of these villains. Now it's time to put an end to this wretched business with you. Oh, sorry. I forgot what I'm I'm fucking loud. Oh my god, why is he fucking yelling? <laughs> sorry. Like, why do you need to be yelling in that? <laughs> And he waddled away, and I waddled away. Okay. Oh wait, I should just do this. Cause I still have two left. Oh my goodness, guys, we're gonna finish the game. Okay, okay. Here we fucking go. Here we go, guys. Actually, I'm gonna take a picture here, too. I'm taking a picture everywhere. <laughs> here we go. Okay, we're back, Mr. Goat. The goat paws the floor with a cloven hoof. You've returned. I was being, beginning to grow impatient. I would have thought patience. I would have thought patience to be one of your strong suits, but don't fret. I bought you the last of your souls. Delicious, are they not? You know what to do. The golden feather. Oh, shimmering sensations of the hawk wash over you, the nib of a quill scratching on parchment, coins clinking, the sharp snap of a closing padlock. Greasy gristle. Your eyes water at the smell of the hogs, grunting swine and buzzing flies. A cleaver falls onto, the, onto a wooden block, blood, bone, meat, royal crystal. A chill runs through your fingers as the stag sockets, and stag sockets into the wall, a condescending laughter, schemes in the snow, pride, arrogance, hubris. 
wolf fang. Your mind sinks into the shadow in the presence of the wolf, soft footfalls padding through the dried leaves, hot breath, big eyes, sharp teeth. Dude, it's done. Now what? The collected souls vibrate with incandescent intensity. They seem to melt into their recesses, boiling away into tiny pinpricks of starlight. Soon, nothing remains of them except twelve smol smoldering scorch marks on the stone wall. Ah, well done. That's that. Our contract is fulfilled. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Hang on, what about your end of the deal? You said you would return my memories to me. Did I? Well, perhaps I misspoke. You never really had any to begin with, my dear. What are you talking about? I just don't remember them. I woke up and... And met me. Yes, that sounds about right for your very first memory. What? But you told me that I brought the sleeping maiden to you, that I asked you to save her soul. Oh, what I meant to say is that she came to me. She asked me to save her own soul. But it's so very easy to get confused. You, her, really, what's the difference? Dawning realization creeps over you like ice water. Her life was cut short. Uh, whether by the wolf's fangs or the hog's cleaver, or under the weight of a dozen other wrongs, I do not know. But in desperation, she called out to me, so we struck a deal. I would save her soul in exchange for theirs. One for twelve. But it's not like I could let her go and collect them herself. She needed to stay here, you see, as insurance. So, so what then? You created me? Is that it? To collect souls on her behalf? Well, I should say that she created you. Snipped off a piece of herself to do it. It was all worked out in the contract, of course. And now that contract is fulfilled, panned out nicely for everyone, I'd say. So if you, by which I mean she, oh sorry, so if by you, which by, by which I mean she, ever needed to get out of another bind, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Ta-ta for now. The room fills with a flash of blinding light. You blink and the goat is gone, leaving only a goat-shaped hole in the world. Oh god, what the fuck? <gasps> Slowly you turn to face the sleeping maiden. You feel sluggish and heavy. You take a strained step towards the gilded coffin. Your legs snap like dry twigs and you crumple to the floor. The cauldron is the last to fall. It resounds with a hollow clang as it bounces off the ground. Wait, I died. You slowly open your eyes and see the vaulted ceiling of the hall. Oh, it was me! You raise your hand to touch the clear crystal surface of the gilded ca casket. The glass lid slides open effort effortlessly and you swing your legs to sit up. The marble floor is smooth and cold under your bare feet. You stoop down to pick up the familiar metal cauldron. Slowly, memories come back at its touch. Oh my god. Sorry, I had to get a screenshot. We did it? We beat it? What the heck? It was me all along in there? What? What the hell was that? We finished it! What the fuck? Wait, did I get every achievement? I need to check. Hell yeah, I got every single achievement in the game. Oh, that was super cute. Oh my goodness. But we did it! What the fuck? Hell yeah, I knew I was gonna finish it today. Why is he getting so loud? Shut up. Oh my god, one second. Oh my god, like, is he talking on the phone? Like, why are you yelling? <laughs> okay, uh, let me go back to my just chatting screen. Let me go back here. Probably gonna get hit with an ad. Well, I'll probably end the stream pretty quick because, yeah, I don't want him yelling in the background of my stream. Uh, let me see who's streaming, though. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm gonna go take us on over to Vile. Sorry that I'm like, like making us out of here really quickly. He's just being so annoying. Like he's literally never this loud when he gets home either. So it's like, why in this exact moment he has to be so loud? But anyways, that was super fun. Um, yeah, I don't know what game I'll play next. Like I said, Dead by Daylight's doing like a refragment um, thingy at the moment. So I might play a bit of that while that's going on. It's only going until March 4th though, so like, if I stream tomorrow, I might play it, but um, if I stream tomorrow, I might also just like pop into VR chat or something and do like a little world hopping or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I think the next like main game though I want to play though is Control. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So but yeah. So I may or may not see you guys tomorrow. Maybe Saturday in the day usually probably sunday maybe because sometimes i stream on there but yeah we'll see but that was the last stream of february february the 29th the leap year hell yeah fun stuff um but yeah i hope everyone had a had a good time chilling it was great to have you guys here and 
just gonna go pop in the little raid thingy for Vile. I don't know what she's playing at the moment. It's called Abyss School or something? I'm not sure. She's looking at titties at the moment. Not like actual titties, but like... Her, the character she's playing is very well endowed, that's for fucking sure. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, I will catch you guys all later. I hope you have a good weekend if I don't see you till like the end of the weekend. But yeah, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.